Salty, salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. Salty, salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. Salty. Hey enthusiasts, what's happening? This is Salty Language, episode 519. The sexiest podcast on the network. Indeed. Indeed. Like always. Mm-hmm. I don't know why my hotkeys yep. weren't working that time either. What the hell's going on, off. OBS? You're ruining everything. <laughs> I told you. Like I said, they cooled off. Apparently, man. Bullshit. Yeah. yeah. That's what yeah. I say. Agreed. Bullshit. You know, I'm so used to using Amazon on my phone. I don't know how to use it yep. on the website. <laughs> yeah, I kind of got that way with a couple. Like Target, yeah. I do that too. Like if I'm going to order something from Target's website, I do it through my phone now. I don't even do it through right. uh, their actual website anymore. Like I, I'm, I'm trying to find a... Uh... Which I found some on Facebook Marketplace, but I hate that place too. But I'm trying to find yeah, me a, too. like a propane burner mm-hmm. for uh, brewing, so I can take my shit outside, as opposed oh, to just right. being in the kitchen, you know, with the electricity, and it takes forever to get that much water to boil. And if I can get like yeah, a witch's right. cauldron going outside, basically, you know. <laughs> Because I haven't brewed in a while, but I, I, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll get into it later this episode. But I want to, I want to get a little back into it just because I want to try something. Are we, are we having another? But we'll get to that episode. I mean, kinda, <laughs> kinda, but not really. I just don't want to, like, you know, immediately jump into half my list or whatever I got set aside. Yeah, I mean, wouldn't be the first time we've done it. That's true. Yeah. I'm so thirsty. I'm just chugging this damn spin drift down. Hey Brian, how's it going, man? <laughs> it's got well, it's got weird. Like when you're home, like you're off, like you are. Do you still consume as much water as you do when you're at work? No, I wouldn't think so. So it's like I could see where you might have patches to where you might be like your body might be like, "Hey, what's going on here?" I'm used to like drowning. Okay. Well, basically, I, I helped Logan earlier this morning with his car, and yeah. I, I grabbed a uh, I grabbed a bang. And a big ass giant yep. bottle of water because I didn't know how long I was gonna be out, you know, in his driveway, mm-hmm. helping him wrench out yeah. and shit. It wasn't that long, but I, I smashed that water. But yeah, yeah I've uh, you know, because I've been on you know I've been on vacation since like halfway through last week, which feels like right. I've been off an eternity. And it's only Tuesday. It's great sure. actually. Yeah, right. Which is good because usually it's like blinking. Yeah, it's, it's over. It's been kinda. going by rather a nice slow pace. I'm sure as I get closer it, and closer to Monday going back, it's going to start speeding up. Yeah, sure. But I, I've been, I mean, I've been drinking a lot, just not water. <laughs> oh, as no. is tradition of vacation, I guess. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, like I, I was like, man, I got to gotta cut this back a little bit. This vacation drinking's getting to me, but I've just been out and like doing stuff in the yard, in the garage, and. Man, goes down too easy sometimes, Brian. I saw a meme earlier today that kind of made me laugh, which was something like it had something to do with the fact of how hard it is. It seems to be to get like eight glasses of water a day. But, you know, like seven beers and and four shots go down in like 20 minutes. That's 100% (laughs) accurate. You know that. That's that beer math again. (laughs) Yep. I was I saw that and I was like, man, they that ain't the damn truth, man. Because when beer's going down easy, they go down I mean, fast. Been, uh, you know, it's because our our buddy uh, Cheeto, you know, kind of like was like, bros. Well, one, it was his weekend for us to you know attempt to hang out, but that did not happen, unfortunately. This makes right. me sad. Indeed, and, I, I'm, I'm, you know, without getting into too many details, I just got too much stuff going on here in the home front for me to leave. <laughs> you know, right. But um, he was like, Bud Light Seltzer Tie-Dye Edition. Delicious. I'm like, man, <laughs> I don't want to buy Bud Light. But I they had one 12-pack at the store when I went. And I was like, all right, I'll buy it. 
So yeah. I, I've been dabbling in the hard seltzers this this past week of vacation. Yeah. And, and by <laughs> I dabbling, just... I mean crushing them. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. Because yeah, I got the Bud yeah. Light ones, and they, I mean they were tasty, but I, I want I wouldn't call them amazing. I'll be honest, they were all right. That's but then fair. I uh, over a weekend, some old friends of ours had a little gathering, and I I grabbed a a pack to take with me, you know, load up the cooler, and they were called Mighty Swells, and those were okay. fucking delicious. Is that the that, brand that was, that or was is that the brand Mighty Swell? Okay, and all right. oof. Those were tasty little little fellas. Like the peach was, yeah, it was incredible. I was like, God damn. I'm getting, yeah. I'm getting fucking I'm drunk off bitch pops. What's going on here? Yeah. Because it's, it's tasted good. And they, and they yeah. go down yeah. way too easy. Yeah, I would you think know? so. Yeah. yeah. It's just like, mm-hmm. it's like drinking one of these. You know? Yeah. yeah. Yep. So, yeah. And they're, and they tend to be dangerous because of that, yeah, you know. Like, they're like five percenters or something, which isn't wasn't yeah, a huge gonna, deal, but it's enough. Yeah, but it's like, that's like whacking Budweisers down yeah. quick, you know. Yeah, it's not, you know. I mean, it'll it, it'll catch yeah. you. That's like, for I mean, sure. I was like taking them out on dog walks and shit. You know, I was like, this is nice. You know, <laughs> I mean, it's like geez. I just picture on um, Bomber, you got like you know a, a harness on her that's <laughs> that's Dude, got like a get her a dog like, mounted cooler. That'd be the best. Yeah, well, I, I was I was thinking just like a bandolier on it to where you could just strap. Yeah, some I gotta keep them cold. I need a cooler. Yeah, I need her to have true. a pouch on each side full of ice and beers. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they make that. I gotta look. Hold on. <laughs> There's gotta be somebody who has. Here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, is a dog mounted? It seems weird. That does sound like a weird way of... I don't know if I would ever want to type that in. Dog but... mounted cooler. Because hmm. either that or you need, you know, some sort of like an insulated bandolier or backpack for yourself. Well, from what I'm seeing, when you put in dog mounted cooler, it's more like people wanting to keep the dog safe from the heat. Like, yeah. oh, this is a stay cool vest or it's fans for the crate. Well, that's also a great idea, but not what we're looking yeah, for. No, here. I'm looking for something for to keep me cool. I, I figured when you typed in dog mounted cooler, it would just be videos of a dog mounting a cooler. <laughs> dog mounted. Like just giving it to Whoa, business. wait a minute. Dog yeah. mounted gun? Hold on. <laughs> oh, it's just pictures of dogs with like guns and shit on them. Okay. Oh, I was like, what? They have like a turret? Oh, that been <laughs> that's dope. pretty awesome. <laughs> um. Dog mounted drink holder? Huh? Maybe? Maybe? I don't Um I don't know. What? <laughs> I don't know what this is. That can't be that can't it looks like a cup holder. Please tell me you can't like put that on your dog's collar, basically. Oh god. What that's a, a dick. <laughs> oh, because the company's called Sea Dog. Alright. Yeah, I don't you know what, Brian? I see a market. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's how we'll market it is that it'd be a way to keep bottles of water with you to keep your dog cool you know so that they have something to drink while yeah. you're out that's <laughs> it meanwhile yeah. it's just to keep ice cold beers well ice cold you know cold yeah. as ice willing to sacrifice our love yeah. right right What do you got in the cooler, sir? Uh, <laughs> Nothing. How about you mind Water? your goddamn business? <laughs> yeah, none yeah, that's what's in it. <laughs> yeah, no, I've been, uh, yeah, the seltzer band. I mean, I just realized doing the math in my head, I, I, I whacked down both those 12 packs. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, yeah. See, that's why I haven't bought beer. I got a little bit left from our little weekend. I was just like, although I'm, I mean, uh, coming up on Thursday, don't tell the authorities, everybody. Or going to a state park, and I'm planning on smuggling some delicious beers in my cooler. Because we're going to oh spend boy. the day on the beach, and it's like, you know? Yeah. And yep. I know if you have the classic-looking beer can, you're sus. That's why you got to smuggle in the yeah. craft beers. Right. <laughs> like Sea Quench, that looks like a standard-issue soda almost. It's like in a teal yeah, can. Or- yeah, I was going to say, or the way the seltzers look yeah, now. Well, you know? those, everyone knows... 
No, I'm talking like LaCroix seltzers. I don't mean like oh, the hard seltzers. I was like, cause the hard seltzers yeah. are like those tall boy cans now, like those. Yeah, no, no, no. I was meaning like the way a lot of the, the can seltzers are kind of vibrantly packaged yeah. and whatnot. Sequench kind of fits in. Yeah, exactly, right? Beer like that kind of fits in. You know, you know, you know what or I like wonder that. is if, um, I don't know why this, this just occurred to me, but all the, like, the hard seltzers are in those tall, skinny cans. Do you think they yeah. do that so people look at them and be like, yeah, I can be skinny if I drink this? I think they do it partially be, it's similar in concept. Do you remember there was, um, oh, what was it? I know Diet Coke recently did it to where they went to thin cans. And it used to be used as a tactic to get, you know, and stay with me here, folks. This is not my opinion. This is what I had read was it was used as a tactic to get women to drink it because it was easier for their their dainty oh, hands to hold little it. dainty hands. huh? Yeah. So, I mean, I do have to know. admit those cans feel goofy in my my big dumb hands. You know. Right. Well, that's why you gotta you gotta rock two at a time. Oh man. yeah, crush it, double barrel, you baby. Know, one, one like in your thumb and one in between, you know, your fingers, kind of a thing. Well, and then plus, yeah, it's like I don't barrel. have any koozies that fit them either. I'm a koozie yeah. guy. You know? Yeah, that's that's a problem. Yeah. So it's like I I don't know what they're trying to do here. I'm sure they make koozies they do, for them. They you just do, but. I think you're just going to have to upgrade your game is all it is. if I put a foam koozie around it and then mush it into my Yeti koozie? That might work. Yeah. Right. Uh, It's kind of like jamming like a mostly soft dick into something. (laughs) Yeah, basically. You're just, you're You're thumbing it in, pushing rope. Yep. (laughs) That old thing. I don't know. Yep. Yep. Yeah, no, it's, uh, yeah, no, but that's, I guess that's what I'm I'm getting into is I, yeah. I want to see if I could make hard seltzer because I do. I mean, I I do enjoy it. I like the fruity flavor. I'll admit it. I'm comfortable yeah. enough in my sexuality to admit it's I like simple. the fruity flavors. It's real simple, man. All you got to do, you take one of them canned seltzers and you just pour vodka in it. Bam, homemade well, hard seltzer. It's like seltzer. I reached out to a mutual friend of ours who has his science degree in booze boozeology. And I'm like, right. bro, have you ever made this before? And he's like, I didn't think you made it. I thought you just added alcohol to bubbly water and added yeah. flavoring. I'm like, no, it's actually it's a brewed product. It's malt based. Yeah, I didn't know that either. Me? Yeah, I knew I knew it was malt based. I was joking about the or you know well, using vodka. Cause when I when it hit me, honestly, the reason I thought about it is we went to a brewery, which I'll definitely get into that because we have all kinds of stories about that. We went to a brewery last week. And um, yeah. one of their guest taps is from a dude I used to work with at Inside the Five. He started his own little side gig. And I was like, holy wow. shit, he's got a beer out here. I was like very happy to see that. You know, and mm-hmm. then I started crushing the seltzers the next day. I was like, I don't think anyone makes this in our area. Maybe there's a market for it. <laughs> you know, so that's why I reached out to my, you know, our buddy there. And he he didn't know he had no insight for me, so I started looking around. And it's there's two ways to make it. It's basically you just add alcohol and you water it down to the ABV you want to you yeah. know, water, and you carbonate it and add flavorings. That's the easy way, or you can so actually kind of brew it. Yeah, I was gonna say essentially what what the other person had said, which was I thought you just add yeah. you know alcohol and. Uh, uh, flavoring, so that is a way of making it. And then and I'm like, I have all the brewing equipment, so I started looking yeah. for recipes. And then I was like, you know what? Instead of looking for recipes where I got to procure all this stuff, do they sell kits? And they do. So I'm right. I'm actually tomorrow morning. I'm going to head up to Ann Arbor to Adventures in Home Brewing, <laughs> and because uh, they don't have it lo- in our local brew shop. And right. I'm going to pick up a kit and hopefully fire it up before I go back to work. Interesting. Yeah, see how, see right. how it turns out. You know? Right. Yeah, Interesting. It should be fun. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I'm like, I don't know. It's like, yeah, I, I, I'm not going to lie. For the battle, the bulge, it's a yeah. nice alternative because they're usually very yeah, low carb, no sugar. Yep. Yeah. And you know that's a huge reason why yeah, they're. I know. So well, and I, yeah. And I, as a craft beer guy, I also scoff at them because I'm like, "This is not true beer." Right. But at the same time, I'm like, nah. 
watermelon mint. This is delicious. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Ooh, this one's peach. Mm. So I'm not gonna yep, lie, they yep. are tasty. You know, yeah. what, what are you gonna do? <laughs> yeah, I mean that's accurate. You know, it is. You know, that's that's why it's it's funny because now, like, whenever I see like a Mick Ultra commercial or something on TV, I'm just like in my head, I'm going, man, that's still getting made. You know, because it's just a uh, it's one of those scenarios to where I'm like, I thought everyone who drank Mick Ultra moved over to seltzers, yeah, basically. Um, I guess not. So well, and it's like, I mean, the reason I enjoyed a craft beer is because I like the flavor. There's not many but it's like American domestic lagers that I yeah. think are tasty. Like, yeah, right. I, I will not buy Miller Lite or but I, I think it tastes like shit. Yeah, but I mean, it. You know, like we've said before, everything has a yeah. time and place. Kind like, of. I'd rather have a PBR but, yeah. or a Coors Banquet. Right. Honestly. Yeah. Because I was gonna say, you know, if we were back doing doing the the Putin Bay excursion, it's like I ain't I'm not buying a bunch of craft beer oh, for that. We um we we went we're buying like ninety packs of stuff. We, we went to lunch, <laughs> which actually just like sidetrack. The, there's this pick your own flower bouquet place, which was actually really cool. I didn't participate. Yeah. I just held the jar and bullshit don't, with everybody. Dude, don't, don't lie. We know dude, you picked the bouquet. If I would, you would have seen pictures of it. <laughs> but. You just, I figured you'd just make yourself a nice, like, you know, head, headpiece. Well, yeah, of course. You know? I mean, I did pick a, take a picture of this big-ass sunflower because I'm like, look at that boy. Yeah. But um, we went to lunch after that, and I was like, I'm looking at the beer taps. I'm like, oh, they got an Ernest Brew Works, and it was a brand, like one I've never had before. I love Ernest. It's a local brewery. So yeah. we hadn't really eaten. I got, We got an app. We got our lunch. I had two beers, tall, tall beers, you know, bigger than a pint. My bill yeah. was outrageous. I was like, what the fuck? I thought maybe we got, because we ended up doing lunch with my sister and uh, Peanut, because we they where we were was like five minutes from her house, basically. Yeah. And um, it's like, God damn, what is up with this bill? My fucking beers were 10 bucks a piece. So that means they were probably $7 pints, and by getting a bigger one, if it was I probably 10 I would have known, <laughs> I yeah, would have right? been drinking anything else. That's, you know, that's the thing is like when we've gone out, you know, at first I, I used to get surprised a lot like that when we would go out because, you know, how I end up with, the you know, the high octane stuff yeah. a lot of times. And that, that a lot of times that's where the, you know, like a good way usually to tell is if it's served in like a snifter, you're like, OK, this is probably yeah, this a seven dollar. This, <laughs> this is a, yeah, probably like you said, seven to ten dollar, ten ounce pour. I'm yeah. kidding. This is a one-off, yeah. basically. Yeah, but some of the beers I got from different places, and I'm like, whoa. Because, you know, if you think about it, like when I first got into it, I'm moving in from, you know, two, three dollar um, pints of whatever the special was, you know, whether it's Budweiser or, you know, something. <clears throat> and you move into craft to where the, the pints started about four dollars right. up, you know. And next thing you know, you know, you're like, oh, I only had three beers. And you're like, why is my bill $20? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> right? So, yeah, I, I get you. It's yeah, it's tough when you hit that it, number. Yeah, I was just like, what the, f what is happening? And then, I mean, I basically paid a dollar an ounce. Yeah, yeah. Which is insane. It is. Yeah, well, there's also the issue of... um. Do you remember, sorry for the people who aren't local, but do you remember that time we were at the Dirty Bird and Blitzen was like, uh, it was like 2 or $3 more a pint there than it was at, at the actual brewery? Yeah. Do you remember how furious I was about that? With good reason. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, we could have just went over there yeah. and got it. And I could have you know, bought another pint for the same money. Yeah, so, it was, uh, yeah. I was a little miffed. But it's, I mean, I'll get over it, you know. What are you going to yeah, do, right? Yeah. I leave. That's what I did. Yeah. Because you, you didn't check yeah, ahead of I time. I just, you, you know, know, I was just like, whatever. And, if, if, and I, I knew it was going to be a little more expensive because we've got an appetizer. But I yeah. just need to eat. But I was just like, like, it, it yeah, I was shocked. But that, you're right, though. It's like stuff like that is, is again, one of those. That's why a lot of the times when we go out now, I'd, I've gotten to where I drink like, you know, one or two quality, like high quality beers. And then I'm usually like, all right, what's on special? Or do you have, 
you know, like you said, banquet or PBR yeah. or something, because it's like these are like th- two to three dollars a, a pint or a bottle can, yeah, yeah, whatever. Exactly. So, Oof. Said I, feelings I were drink the rest that of day. the day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Oof. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Those nights are a kick in the dick uh, for yeah. sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like eighteen dollars scotch pours, you know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good times. That's what you, that's what you always ask how much ahead of time, but that's where it's nice when you can get a like if you can get a list and it shows the prices. Well, you I know, mean, but it's because you know they had notes on the door. Hey, we're short staffed. Everything's gonna be running slow. So I was just ordered. Like I was like, oh, "What's that right. Ernest Brew Works? Oh, it's this AMPM lager." I'm like, "Cool, sounds great. I'll take one." Do you want a tall one? Yes. Because I course, normally I'd yeah. be like, hey, you know, because I had a bunch of tap handles. I'm like, you know, but I knew she was busy, and there was, from what I could tell, there was only like yeah. three people on the floor, so I wasn't going to ask her yeah. for a draft list. I just wanted to order and you know make it easier yeah. on everybody. Honestly, that's a little tough because you also maybe feel like they should mention to you, hey, that's a ten dollar pour. Because that's a lot. Yeah. You know, it's not like, you know, when you go to like Applebee's and they're like, you want a Brutus? You know, it's like six bucks for, you know, like a mile of yeah, <laughs> Budweiser exactly, or right? whatever. I don't know. It was just, I mean, whatever. It was just, it was, it was more yeah. shocking than anything else. Yeah. You live, you learn, right? Yeah, exactly. Is it, is it high ABV? No, no. I mean, it was, I think a six something maybe. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. not high at all. I mean, for a summer beer, maybe, but yeah, that's I don't, not. I mean, and they said they had a note on the table that was like, I mean, it was like, hey, chicken wing prices are going up, or this price for this yeah. is going up. I mean, their chicken wings are crazy priced. I think it was like six yeah. wings. It was like 12 bucks. And then, Whoa, yeah. I well, mean, I know there's a, I big, know yeah, you know, I was, there's a yeah. big work or labor crisis going on across the country. I understand that. But, yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And there's there's been a, a wing shortage to where it's like, was it Wingstop or whatever? It actually has commercials to where they're doing thighs now. Really? I didn't even see that. Like, yeah, like making thighs just like they would make wings with same sauces and flavors I got and everything. frozen wings in my freezer. Black market, y'all. Hit me up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I read like, you know, Popeye's just launched their new uh, chicken nuggets and I read something the other day talking about how they've been stockpiling chicken beforehand oh, they, to they make sure they coming in had enough greasy crystal well, ball. Also, right. Yeah. Cause also, you know, you remember when they launched the chicken sandwich and ran out everywhere and people were literally killing each other for chicken sandwiches. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately I do remember that. America. Yeah. yeah uh, you know, they, they were trying their best to avoid that as well. I mean, I get it. Chicken violence yeah. is the worst. These people are crazy, man. Well, people are stupid, let's be honest. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. That's every, every time I'm watching, like, I watch Ridiculousness, like, all the time at night. Because it's just a great before bed thing to watch, right. you know? There's right. zero thinking needed to watch it. You can not pay attention, but also kind of know what's going on. You know, it's just, it's a good kind of noise type of thing when you're trying to go to sleep. And I'm watching it, and every time it's just like, I'll be watching it with them in the living room or something sometimes too. And then, but why do, you know, what were they thinking? I'm like, because people are stupid. Yeah. Like, that's just it. Or they want to get internet yeah, famous. And that's they what think they're. That's the way to do it. And sometimes it uh, is. Unfortunately, <laughs> sometimes it is. I, I wish it wasn't in that aspect because you know some of the stuff people do is really stupid but some of it's really funny yeah, I saw so I a don't... guy basically light his head on fire like he's yeah. posing with yeah. a flag behind him and he doused his head and then lit it on fire and then weird he panicked and ran wow. off the screen as they were trying to put his head out now, I mean I assume they just threw him to the ground and started yeah, stomping his head right? probably would have been better for everybody because <laughs> that's how it should work oh, yeah I know. Well, I mean, you know, and we did just pass the, you know, what feels like the dumbest point in the year for America. So, I you know, know, I keep seeing things online always... that I'm like, really? <laughs> you know, yeah. usually, you know, fireworks and booze bring out the best oh, of America. I see what you're so, you know, yeah. Yeah. Usually we hit that that peak every year to where it's like, yep, it's the perfect storm of stupid. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> and you, the rest of the year has its ups and downs. There's no reason of just dumb shit. <laughs> Yeah, it's <laughs> who's going to blow their face slash arm, leg, whatever yeah. off, you know. 
<laughs> it's never the good. It's never the people that really need to be. Yeah, you know, whatever. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Goddamn idiots. Yeah. I know, yeah. right? Anywho, I've been rambling. How's your week been, Brian? <laughs> oh man, I'll tell you. Random shit in my glasses. Um, just, I'm so glad that our weather is finally leveled out. Cause it's like, I, I hate to, I, I hate it. Cause it's like on the crazy life and stuff too. I'm always like, like, yeah, I keep dealing with these headaches and whatever. And it's like, you know, I feel like I'm just fucking repeating myself, but I, cause I am, but it is, you know, I mean, it's the truth. It's what I deal with, you know? And it just stinks that, you know, you have days where it just fucking, it, it, they take you completely down. Right. Like some days I can deal with them. Some days I absolutely cannot. Like, you know, it's I, I take medicine and hope it hope it, it at least gets it to tolerable or better. Tolerable or you better know? is good, right? Yeah, right. So uh, much like this podcast, we always hope for tolerable or better. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um. So, yeah, that, that was a lot of last week. I just was dealing with headaches, bad, bad headaches all week because we had all that it's, rain. It was and, nonstop rain. Yeah. Then it was, and it was humid, and then the rain went away, and the temperature dropped, and I'm like, oh, finally. And then I walk outside to take the trash out, and I'm like, oh, my God, it's still 90, 90% yes. humidity. Like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, I did that one morning when I woke up here, and I was like, oh, man, it's like low 80s outside or upper 70s i'm like we should open the windows let me check the humidity 96 percent. i was like oh fuck that you know yeah yeah the app that i have i forgot which one it is but it actually gives you basically what the estimate for what indoor humidity will feel like as well so like even if you have all your house closed up like hey it's still gonna be sticky inside you might want to kick your air up a little or down yeah you know but um That's so when I took took the trash out, I looked at the, you know, looked at my weather app and I'm like, oh, it's like 71 degrees. I'm like, oh, this should be a nice casual stroll to the end of the driveway. Walk outside and like immediately just melted basically from the humidity. Yeah, right. <laughs> I just <laughs> luckily I'm, I'm built like the uh, um, oh, shit, I can't think what it is now. The in Terminator 2, the, oh, the, the T-1000. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, so I melted and then immediately just, you know, reformed and then took the trash out Perfect. of it. Boy, I'm like, dude, it's six in the morning. <laughs> what is this about? Like, yeah, I'm glad I didn't yeah. work those days. Oh, yeah, yeah. I bet. Yeah. yeah, for sure. And then it did cool off for a while, which was nice. We had some nice days. And then, like, today is back to being kind of hot and it, it, I don't know. It didn't feel stupid humid today, yeah, but it was like, definitely it wasn't terrible. I, I've been out in my garage working the past couple of days on a project for, for Michelle's little art studio. And I right. mean, it's hot, but yeah. it's not, it's not hot enough that I'm like, fuck this, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like a day like today I can handle It's hot. It's a little humid, but it's not like oppressive yeah, humidity. Exactly. So I was, you know, I had to go to the store today to get a few things and, you know, walking out to the parking lot and stuff, I was like, you know, this isn't bad. There was a slight breeze. It wasn't terrible. I didn't die on the way because, you know, it was horrible like it was the other day. So, you know, that's always good. But, yeah, so, like, today I feel fine, which is surprising because usually for me what happens is while the weather's all over the place, I'll have off and on headaches. Then once it levels off, usually I'll still have headaches for a couple days until my – like kind of my body kind of gets used to it, you know, which usually that the best ones are the ones where it's like gorgeous outside. It'd be like 70, 70, 75, a breeze, no humidity. Those days where you want to spend all day outside, you know, and those are the days I'm in the fetal position in my room crying. Well, basically, <laughs> You know, a few days later, it'll be, you know, hot, humid thunderstorms and I'll feel fine, you know, <laughs> unfortunately, like, right. Huh? Alrighty, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but whatever. Whatever, so. Trevor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, you know, it's that's that's been about it. I really haven't done much because I haven't been able to do a whole lot. You know, just it sucks. I hate this shit so much. How debilitating these things right. are. You know, 
it's like, dude, it's bad enough. I deal with depression and, and anxiety that are like, you know, telling me to lay in bed and don't go outside. And then there's also those days where depression doesn't even get a chance. It's like, you know, depression's about to come like, you know, put all its weight on my chest and, and, you know, my headaches like, hold on, this. get in line. <laughs> <laughs> if there's anything left when I'm done, you no can have vacancy, it. Bitch. <laughs> Occupado. <laughs> so, you know, what are you going to do, right? It's, do. you know, it's not like it's due to me. I've been dealing with it for a million years. I mean, you know that. You've known me forever. I've always had these, well, since like what? Probably after puberty is when they really yeah. ramped up and fucking puberty, you know? Fucking puberty. Your balls drop and then my head just starts constantly trying to blow up. <laughs> <laughs> Like, like what were my balls the safety Apparently, it was like, like the pin the pin yeah <laughs> uh, old shite. grenade balls but, but i will say you know from like while i've been awake <laughs> things have been pretty good although i did get uh i had blood work or blood drawn what, last week or whatever and you know got the phone call today it was like oh you need to come in and see the doctor i'm like oh come on like i've been trying to be good <laughs> like uh, I'm so tired of that, right. you know, it's, it's something I've been really kind of fighting with recently, which it sucks a bunch. Let me tell you, it sucks a whole lot when you really want to do stuff to lose weight and you have no motivation because of, you know, like I said, headache, yeah, depression, whatever, you know, it sucks because okay. I know I'm going to go in and, you know, Hopefully it's nothing bad. I mean, there is always a slim chance that he's just going to talk with me about the results. But, you know, most of the time the doctors don't have you come in if everything's fine. Right. You know, usually they have you come in because either call doc. See, that was something I was saying earlier today, too. And and I actually I'm you know, I mention it every chance I get, because if for no other reason, people with anxiety it's so much easier for us to deal with a zoom call than it is to go not to mention, you know, I fight agoraphobia to some extent too. So again, going places is a problem for me. So this would help a little bit, although don't get me wrong. It is good for me to push and get out, you know, but also like, seriously, how long is this conversation going to take you get up, get a shower, blah, 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 go to their way, but uh, you know, and it's like, you, or they could just call you. You can be sitting there in your fucking underwear and just be like, Hey, all you're right. You know, and be, oh, you're right. I didn't think about that. Yeah. So, yeah. Cause the only thing they have a sign about is having a mask on. Like, so you guys are going to inconvenience my... me. I'm going to inconvenience you. <laughs> wear a mask over my junk. And... <laughs> yeah. That's the mask you get. You sons of bitches. <laughs> like, like, that was weird. I didn't even have to wait this time. They just immediately took me back. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> like, I might start doing this more know, often. Right? There you go. <laughs> yeah. So, whatever. It's, you know, it's going to be what it's going to be, you know. True. Hopefully nothing too bad. Because you know, that was the other you part is I've had. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, you didn't know it, but you are 50th, 50 50,000th customer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you've won a higher risk of heart attack. <laughs> oh, you don't say. <laughs> hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, calm hey, down. Easy, <laughs> remember, easy. Remember what we just said, let's calm easy it down. Easy the heart rate there, bud. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's terrible. Why would I you really, say this? That actually reminds me of the, like, after I hadn't gone to a doctor for a long time when I went in and, she, you know, they took my blood pressure and, she was like, the nurse was like, whoa. And I'm like, what? She's like, this is really high. And they're like, you know, you know, and she's like, but I know you have anxiety, so we'll take it again. They took it again. She's like, it's still really high. Give it to Owen Wilson. <laughs> then, wow. Yeah. Then the doctor came in and was like, yeah, you're you're not leaving here without a, a prescription for blood pressure medicine. Because apparently I was like, you know, stroke level and had been unregulated from you know before that so who knows how long it had been well, at that level stop which is listen to billy squires the stroke on repeat hey listen what else am i gonna listen to you know just saying that's that's all i can listen to it's all it's on my my zoom dude i mean I, what else am i gonna do 
I can't get new music for it. <laughs> Fucking Zune. <laughs> Dude, I actually saw, I was looking at some artist page uh, on Instagram yesterday, and he actually, like, I scrolled down just a little bit, you know, looking at his art and stuff, and scrolled down about, you know, three or four times, and there's actually, like, various pictures of him showing what he's listening to on his iPod. Wow. Not iPhone. It's like old iPod, like, you know, the ones that were, uh, I don't know how to describe it. Anyways, but, you know, it, it's not one of the, like, first ones. It had the click wheel and everything, and it's color, right. but you know, but it's not a touch. It's not, you know, so it's, it's before all that. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, if they it work, still why work. not? I'm surprised it still works because of the updates. Yes, you know? that actually but it, if all he's trying to do is play music, it should still work. It's similar like my first iPad. I can't do a lot with it, but I can still put podcasts well, on it. I mean, it. fair enough, right? You know, so, yeah. yeah. I was like, good for him. I mean, that's, you know, you know, he doesn't, you know, that way you can keep all sorts of, you know, porn on your phone that way. Keep your phone from it, getting all gummed up with your music, I mean, you know? True. Yeah. Interesting. But it still surprised me to yeah, see, sure. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like holy shit! Like, you don't see people like openly admit that they still use iPods, because right. most people either stream music now or they just they have a shit ton on their yeah. phone, whichever or both. I mean, you know? I used to be the guy that had a shit ton on my phone, and I'm like, wow, streaming so much easier. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's my thing. If I ever listen to music through my phone, which I rarely do, but if I do, I just jump on Spotify, yeah. you know, and listen to something or whatever. It's so. Great. Yeah. Truth. Shit, excuse me. Truth. Yeah. Truth. Truth bombs. Mm-hmm. Drop in. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So on a, a quick follow up, and this is not an important thing at all, but when I went to the grocery store today, they actually had a robust amount of carts inside for the first time in months. <laughs> wow. Did you, you should have taken pictures. You know, I've taken to where, like, I grab a cart now every time before I go in because you never know anymore. So I'm just making sure I don't have to walk my ass all the way back out to the parking lot for a cart. Yeah, you know? I mean, I don't blame you because I, I, I've so, been, you know, duped into grabbing shitty carts, it seems like, every time I've gone to a grocery yeah. store lately. Well, I was going to get bottled water and a uh, 24-pack of Coke, so it's like these are not things. The Coke's no big deal because you can carry that, but it's like I ain't trying to carry... 24 packs of water from the back of the store yeah, to the front of the store. I'm to show it like it's a boom box. I know I could, but I don't want oh, to. Yeah. You know, Nobody does. Anyways, man, I'm too old for that no, shit. I, I hear you. You, know, you got to, you know, take a niece or nephew or something with you. You know, they got them them uh, youthful knees and backs. By niece you and know? nephew, you just mean pack mule. Yeah. Yeah, I, know, I understand. Yeah. 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 I mean that's that's why you take God them. <laughs> pack mule. That's why you were put on this planet to be your uncle's pack mule. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like you don't have Which, a name funny. anymore. You're just pack mule. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. I mean, I feel like you could at least give him a name, like you know, Mel or something. Pack mule number one. The better part, of me, you just you just call him by the wrong name yeah, the whole time. You know. Yeah. What's your name? Uh, it's it's you know. Joe, man, not anymore. All right, Jake, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Jim. It's just different every time. Same first letter. Yeah. Dude, that James, would be great go. if he could do that. Kind of like uh, Dr. Cox on Scrubs, where he refers to him by a different nickname every yes. time. Like he doesn't use them. Yeah. That'd be great. Which has to be, I don't, they must have had like a book. Well, I'm sure someone is keeping track they, of them. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, just so that they wouldn't do it, because that was the whole thing, because that was part of the, the gag was to, that he didn't repeat. <laughs> I mean, classic. Like, mm-hmm. classic. Mm-hmm. Speaking of classic shows, Brian, you know what I started watching, rewatching this weekend? Let's see. Let's see. Danger Mouse. Dude, that's a good one, but no. Real quick, they're they're making a Danger Mouse pop pretty soon. I'm going to try real hard to get one, but it's going to be looks like it's going to be a Funko Shop of course, exclusive. It's Danger Mouse. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, I I started rewatching the um, HBO Spawn. Oh wow, man! I haven't seen that because in years. Like, I, I, I sat down to play a game. Just felt like playing, but I was like, I kind of feel like playing something violent. 
So I'm like, mm-hmm. let me throw in Mortal Kombat. You know, right. and one of the characters I have in it is Spawn. So I'm yeah. like, you know what? Let right. me throw in Spawn. I'll do his little Towers of Time, as they call it. And you, when you beat okay. the end person, you can see their little story. You know, or oh, okay. But mm-hmm. then as I'm playing it, I was like, God, I, oh, I forgot how much I like Spawn. So I'm yeah. like, you know what? That shit's on HBO. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fire it up. I watched like three episodes. Um, yeah. Boy, the old Todd McFarlane intros I could do without. <laughs> oh, I don't even remember those. Because it's like it shows him like sketching, and it's the same scene every time of him sketching the same panel. You know, right? And he's in he, he's in like a, a set or something that makes it almost look like a castle, and it's all dark and brooding, <laughs> and he's got his hair all slicked back, and he just. You know, he his back is to you, and he turns around like, a, "Oh, hey," kind of thing, you know. And why, hello? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, hello there. But he's yeah. got a lisp that I never noticed before. Oh, I never. Like, yeah, I have, I've Simmons. never. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh no, that's the first thing I heard. <laughs> it's like the worst part is like once you hear something oh, like it's that, over. it's like that's all. It's all yeah, you can yeah, hear, that, too. So now every episode that's loaded up after that, it's, you know, with the intro talking about the, you know, and it's, yeah, all I hear is the lisp. Todd McFarlane's yeah. lisp. Also, like, if you're going to do an intro, there's only one way to do it, and it's the <laughs> South Park VHS intros. Because yeah. <laughs> yes. those <look> fast. <laughs> yeah, those are by far the best. Yeah. But it's it's uh, been fair. fun watching them. I for, like I it's been so long. I don't really I I mean I I remember the basic story of Spawn, but yeah. I don't remember the details. You, you oh, know? okay. Which isn't but, bad because then it kind of feels yeah, it new feels again. Pretty fresh because I I couldn't. I yeah. mean How's the animation? Hold it's not. Up? T- it's not bad. It kind of reminds me of Batman the animated series. Not okay. as good. I can't, I can't... Honestly, right, but that's right. like it's along the same vein. Nothing's as good as Batman the Animated <laughs> Series, which is also on HBO, by the way. Oh yeah, that's right. Yep, and so is uh, Batman yeah. Beyond. I think they have a few, but Batman Beyond was on there too, which are both oh, yeah. excellent watches. Classics. But yeah, yep. it's been it's been interesting. I I mean, I haven't watched it in a couple of days, but yeah, I didn't even realize Spawn was on there. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I just I yeah. stumbled across it randomly because I was searching for something that sort of SP. And, it, and then it came up. I was like, oh, shit, that's on here? You know, and I just kind of made a mental note of it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> I just like your arbitrary search there. Yeah, I don't remember what I was searching for, but I know it started with SP and then whatever, and then I was like, oh, fucking Spawn. That's cool, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, huh. I'm actually surprised at some point that he didn't try to get that going again. Yeah, I know, right? Because I, I want to say they it was still four make... seasons, maybe? Yeah, it's something like It's three yeah. or four, yeah. And they Because they still make the comic. Oh, really? I thought that shit wrapped up. Yeah. Nope. It's, wow. He's still, like, he's got, like, a whole, like, I think they actually did a, a spinoff book now, too, that, that's been going for a little bit. I, you know, I'm not, like, super onto it. I, I quit reading spawn years yeah, I, and years I and tell you the last spawn. one i read i couldn't tell you what they you know have done with the character but yeah um i like i because i know at one point he kind of moved off of the book kind of like other people were writing it and uh i don't remember i you know and obviously you know he wasn't drawn anymore because you remember greg capullo was drawing it for a long right. time with with him writing it and then I think he kind of moved aside. Well, you know, Kabulo left the book. They've had other people, all that kind of stuff. You know, like typical books. You know, you have different creative teams, which I think honestly ends up being better for the character unless you're telling one story, right. like one long story, like um, Cerebus. You know, um, that that you know needed to basically be told by one person because he was just telling one long story, and then that was the end of it. Well, I see. Um... I'm on McFarlane.com. It's yeah. basically like all about their toys. Yeah. There you go. I finally found that's... the link to get to the comic book. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, the, the toys are the bread and butter now. Yeah. So have been filed. They're up to Spawn yeah. 320. Holy yeah. shit. 
Yep. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty wild. Yep. It's quite quite a few. Yeah. yeah. I don't remember how many issues of Cerebus there were. He's got to be approaching that or or so cuz I know Cerebus I, I believe right was the first book to hit 300. Right. Uh or not 300. I'm sorry. Yeah. I think, well, it was like an indie one. So I think it was like the longest, you know, indie book. Cause obviously, you know, Batman's been going forever. Yeah, well, so, course, yeah. you know, Superman and all, you know, those kind of books. But, um, yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I don't know. But, uh, I don't right. know what's going on with Spawn. I'm just scrolling through all the covers that are on his. I mean, the art look, art looks dope. And yeah. I, Usually, did. I don't know if I would be interested in reading it again, but playing a spawn in Mortal Kombat definitely kind of, you know, just gave me that little yeah. bit of like, hmm, I kind of want a little spawn yeah. in my life. I was a little surprised by that when they announced him as a character. Yeah. yeah because it's like people still care about spawn. Apparently. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. 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 Good for yeah. them. You know, good for him. It, it's, it's kind of a cool character to put into a game, though. You yeah, know, for sure, right? I swear, I just saw one. And I love the Watchmen cover. It did. And I love the idea of, you know, putting random characters in games like that, especially those fight games. I think it's a cool move, like uh, Smash Brothers and stuff. You know, where they put in various characters from wherever yeah. type I stuff. Because like Mortal the ones I have I unlocked are, uh, yeah, I got. What uh spawn obviously Robocop, the Terminator, Rambo. Uh, right. <laughs> I think those are the nice. goofy ones. Yeah, the yeah. ones that are like non canon for the Mortal Kombat universe, you know. But there might be another right. one I'm just forgetting was... about. I can't remember the fighting game. There was one of them that had um had like Yoda in it and uh I don't remember if it was oh, Vader. It was uh Soul Calibur because he used the used Soul swords Calibur. in the game, Thank yeah. You. Yeah, that's what it was. I was like, I could not remember the name of it. Yeah, but that's why I was like, I always thought that was cool. It's a good gimmick, too, to sell it, you know, like uh, uh, DLC oh, and yeah, stuff, too, sure. sometimes. I mean, I, like, I got the Mortal Kombat DLC just because it was uh, one weekend. It was dirt-ass cheap. And I, at the right. time, so, I was playing <laughs> a lot of it. So I was like, fuck it, I'll buy it, whatever, you know. And then, like, any game I own, I just stopped playing for a while. <laughs> sure. Sure. What I found a lot of times is once I buy a DLC, I'm pretty much done with the yeah, game. <laughs> not I've invested more money, it's over. <laughs> yeah, I found that I do that quite a bit to where, you know, like some games, it's one thing, like Borderlands, uh, because, uh, you know, if you go into GameStop, you can reserve a game for like five bucks and you can just keep paying on the game until it comes out, basically. That's fun. So, you know, by the time it comes out, you could have it paid off. And so I'll do that sometimes because, you know, I've talked on here. Money sometimes an issue. And I was like, well, if I'm going to put Borderlands on there and this was it was months before the release. I'm like, well, I'm going to get like not the stupid, crazy high end where it comes with like an actual crate with stuff. Yeah, like a, like a but it's like, mask and a, some like some guy's yeah. hand. <laughs> right. Which is, it, all that stuff's cool. But it's like that. No, I don't need that. But I'm going to get the version that's got like the season pass DLC yeah, stuff, not, right? You know, so I'm, I'm going to end up buying that anyway. So I might as well why get it in yourself? the season. Pass yeah. Right. So I got, you know, did that and I, I haven't played anywhere near, I haven't even sniffed any of the DLC because I haven't even played another <laughs> regular game. Right. <laughs> you know, like I said, I just, <laughs> I can't remember. There was some other game not all that long ago that I bought DLC for. And then it was the same thing. I'm like, I don't think I've played it since. <laughs> <laughs> so you know in like grand theft auto there you know there hasn't really been dlc to buy right. you pretty much it's been free to play stuff you know and that's the game i play probably the most aside from well recently that and uh uh stardew valley of course because so i've been playing that and getting a little more aggressive in my farming <laughs> and whatnot and farming <laughs> Well, I was playing last night and I just, winter just ended. So, you know, I had to go clear everything out and now I'm going to start playing like a motherfucker. Right. So. Especially right. after seeing some stuff online where I'm like, oh, you know, I I don't plan a ton, but, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I look and I see these people to where it's like their whole farm is like full of stuff like that they're growing. And I was like, oh, my God. It's right. like, because in my head, I'm going, how long does it take you to harvest I, I all know, that? Right? You know, 
because and you know it's, it's not like there's it's not like uh the milk for your you know animals to where you can just buy the auto gimmick and just go in and collect it you know yeah. you have to go harvest well, all when that I was when well not i when garrett was talking about doing the brewing farm and i was like oh i want to do that i kind of looked out because yeah. i had no idea what to do so i kind of looked online at some like random stardew valley stuff there's people yeah. out there that have it's like a science to them. Yeah, yeah, like th- yeah. Th- this guy's video is. I'm like, how? Who has the time? <laughs> you <know>? Yeah, <laughs> I'm just thinking in game even yeah. that's you know what I mean. Like even if I'm gonna sit and play for a while, like uh, uh, you know, every day you wake up in that game, you have to kind of go, okay, basically, am I farming? Am I going to the the uh, mines? Like what? What am I doing yeah, here? Exactly. You know, like what's, what am I spending my day doing? Basically, <laughs> so you know, yeah. I, I I just you know the mundane stuff is one thing, you know, a little of it, but I don't want to do a ton of that because if I do, it's gonna it's gonna feel like work, and then I won't want to play the game anymore. Yeah, true, true. <laughs> so I've been really utilizing the um, uh, shit. What do you call it? Oh, I can't think of what it's called now. Wow. BFG 3000 or whatever. 9,000. Yes. Damn it. No. The, like, the house where you can grow stuff oh, year round. Greenhouse. I cannot. Greenhouse. Thank you. I don't know why I could not think of the word <laughs> greenhouse. Um, you know, I've been utilizing that for, like, what, you know, grabbing high end crops, you know, for that grow, especially off season and whatnot. And, growing the hell out of right. those so, you know yeah but anyway yeah that's that's about it i played madden for the first time and i don't know how long the other night that felt weird because <laughs> you know you know again once you, when you don't play for a while you pick a game up and some of it of course is intuitive like you kind of remember because those buttons have always been, yeah, those, been buttons, those buttons you know for decades yeah, but then there's certain things you go to do, and you're like, uh, how do I audible into... Uh, yeah. How do I face mask? I mean, heckle. <laughs> yeah. How, how do I chop black the yeah, quarterback? Exactly. How do yeah. I ruin his career? Yeah. It's always the move. Always the move. Always the move. You always go low. No. <laughs> so, um, we went on an uh, adventure last week. Okay. Right? Yeah. Went went out to this uh, brewery that well one my brother in law told me about and a guy I work with told me about. It's called Twin Oast. It's out mm-hmm. on, on Catawba Island. You know, it's on the Lake right. Erie. Yeah. And it's it's really cool. It's really nice. It's on a farm. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's like an hour away. That's actually how we're we're gonna be going right out by there on Thursday. That's where we're, we're hanging out on the beach all day in that area. Oh. But yeah. um I just wanted to go check out this brewery, right? So we decided we were going to go have dinner there. And then it turned into like an early dinner because Michelle was hungry because she's been fasting, you know. Oh, so right. she was like, how about we just like leave now? I'm like, oh, all right. You know, why not? Now, mind you, yeah. earlier in the day, I can't remember what I did. I think I picked up Leah or something. Maybe it was the day before. And I got out of my car. I'm like, that's weird. I smell like, like coolant. Yeah, and I was like, well, you know, I'll check it out because I've had a coolant leak mm-hmm. before. And I had to get it fixed a couple years ago because my dopey Buick has a has a fucking sick ass turbocharger on it that's cooled by the coolant system and it leaked before. Oh, sure. So I was like, oh man, I bet you I got a leak somewhere. Whatever, I'll figure it out. Yeah. So we're driving out there. We're five minutes from the brewery, and then my car just like. <laughs> I'm like, what is this noise? And I look, and my wow. temp gauge is pegged. And I'm getting an overheat. Oh wow. an Overheat warning. Oh boy. Like, oh shit! You know. Yeah. Pull over, find the Kroger, and I and I'm like, you know, like there's steam coming out, and I was like, ah, oh, fuck. I'm like, sure. I know I, I got to be low on coolant because I smelled it earlier. It's probably has a leak. I'm probably super low. And I, yeah. I pop the hood right. And, like, on the top of my, like, reservoir tank, there's this little hose that comes in. And it's just yeah. barely hanging on, just steam flying out the side of it. Oh, like, fine. Oh, shit. 
Like how any right. I'm an hour away from the home, <laughs> you know? Right. I'm like, what the fuck are we going to do here? So we ran to Kroger's. I, I bought bar towels, needle nose pliers. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I didn't buy them. Michelle bought them because I realized when we got there, I forgot my wallet at home. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Good move to pull. Yeah, I like that, it. <laughs> and the little like podunk town we were in, their Kroger doesn't take Apple Pay. Because I'm like, yeah. I can do Apple Pay. What a, no, no, I can't. Yeah. They're like, no, we don't barter here. You're like, uh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, I got my knife out, and I'm like, because as soon as I touched the hose, it just broke. Like, like the, sure. and it wasn't the hose that was broke. It was the fitting that it attaches to. Because uh, okay, everything's right. made of plastic. Yeah. You know? So, well, it's because plastic does so well in heat. Yeah. You know? <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> So yeah. I'm, I'm like looking at it and I was like, uh, well, let me, let me kind of carve some of these tabs down and maybe I can get enough real estate here that I can reattach so this hose. Thumb it back in. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so I kind of got it on there and I was like, I, you know, I'm like, we're four miles from the brewery. I'm like, we we're starving. We're going. Yeah. yeah. I don't I, Hopefully this thing holds, <laughs> you know, and I topped it off of coolant. Right. And then, you know, I'm driving to the brewery, I watching my temp gauge the whole damn time. Yeah. Never, never overheated, but as soon as we got pulled in and I parked it, it just steam. And, yeah. and, of course, now it starts pouring rain. Because why yeah. wouldn't it? You know? Mm-hmm. So get out. Out quick. Are you sure that your car didn't just start vaping and you weren't <laughs> aware of it? Blowing sick clouds, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Sick-ass clouds. <laughs> You have that new Buick Buick vape system in there. Yeah, fucking stupid Buicks. Um, but you know, I, I popped the hood and the hose completely is off again. And I'm yeah. like, I'm like, whatever. I'm like, let's just go. We'll eat. I, I definitely need a beer. Right. And we'll we'll figure it out. You know. Uh, so we go inside. Which this place is, like I said, it's gorgeous. It's on a farm. Like I didn't. If it was nice weather, you could actually bring camping chairs and just set up wherever you want. They have a ton of property. I wanted to kind of walk around, but it's pouring rain. So as yeah. we're walking up, like all these beautiful tables out on their patio and down on this hill in this field, everything's closed. Yeah, of, of course. course, right. And mm-hmm. we walk in the brewery. And what I didn't know, and we now know, is it's first come, first serve. You just seat yourself. Okay. So because we're standing there like idiots, and people are going by oh, us. Yeah. And then someone comes up and they're like, hey, have you been here before? We're like, no. They're like, oh, well, it's first come, first serve. You sit down. There's QR codes on the table. You have to order beers from the bar. Like, yeah. <sighs> so why not have one person up front or a sign Something? at least? Like most signs, you know, how many restaurants you've been in that says, please wait to be seated? Have one that says yeah. the opposite. Seat like, yourself. please seat yourself. Because I've seen those in places before. So I rumba. walking around, everything's taken up. And there's one thing I don't yeah. like about this place because it's on Catawba Island. It's a very hoity-toity. Is the clientele are all like lake douchebags? Oh, like, right. There was a dude sit, like sitting at the end of the bar. There's an empty stool by him, but he was using it as a footrest. And I'm like, well, Michelle could sit down. I'll stand. It's fine until a yeah. table opens right. up. You know? Yeah. And he's on the phone talking, and I was like, and I'm like, hey, you know, I'm. I'm trying not to be loud because he's on the phone, but I'm like trying to get his attention and be like, hey, is this stool yeah. available? And he just completely ghosted me, which I just yeah. want to throw him off his bar stool because <laughs> yeah. I, I already had that a car that's trying to blow up on me. You know, yeah. that would have been the right move is you just grab him by like the collar of his shirt and yank backwards. Uh, yeah, I, I seriously like the, the thought of me just tossing him off his bar stool really ran through my head and I had to walk away. You know, right. And then, and then the same lady who's like told us first come first serve. She's like, we also have like a, a covered pavilion outside. We're like, oh, all right, cool. So we go outside, and it's like I said, it's huge. Like go around this corner, and an oast, which I didn't know, was kind of like a looks like a castle turret, and it's okay. what they used to use to cure hops in the olden days. So they had oh, two okay. of these built, but you can sit in them. Actually. You know, and right. cause the, we went to the pavilion and there's a pizza, outdoor pizza oven firing up pizzas and shit. Um, nice. But there was two tables of just savage children. 
just running around <laughs> doing because you know once again I'm not trying to judge, but it seems like people that have money don't give a fuck about what their kids are up to. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, surely the help will do this, you know, whatever. <laughs> Buffy, our children are running rampant. You know. So we. What well, she's supposed to do? She's got a drink in her hand, which you know you can't risk can't spilling, spilling it. it. So. Yeah, so no. we sat over there for probably five minutes, and I'm like, I, I can't, <laughs> you know, because I'm just like, I'm in a different world right now because my car's dying. Right. Yeah, it's like I, I gotta move, or there's gonna be. Yeah, and that, not only that, my car's dying, and I don't have my fucking wallet. <laughs> and it was my idea to go out there. Now I can't pay for it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> brilliant move, man. Know, brilliant move. A. Like it. <laughs> Oh darn! I left my oh, wallet. Oh shoot! At the- my <laughs> wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Been funny, if Michelle Belly. Well, I guess you ain't eating. Yeah, exactly. Well, I, do, I, I felt like I go inside to order oh. my beer, and I'm like, this place has to take Apple Pay. They have to. Right. So I go inside. I leave the table. I walk inside because we actually we went eventually went and sat inside one of those oasts because the tables yeah. were clear and they were kind of dry because everything was it right. really poured. You know? Yeah, right. So I'm like, all right, I need a beer. Do you need a drink? She told me what she wanted. I go inside. Hey, do you guys take Apple Pay? Bartender goes, I think so. No one's ever asked that before. I went, well, I, I am. Here's what I want. Yeah. I need this, you know, and I need this soda, no ice or whatever. And I'm trying to scan it right. and nothing's happening. And he's like, I guess we don't nice. take it. And it's like, I'm like, all right, well, can you just wait right here? I'll be right back. And I have to go outside and be like, hey, babe, so can I get your card and start a tab? Because, you know, I failed as a man. (laughs) (laughs) But uh, it's either that you get on the bar and you start stripping for money. I mean, yeah. (laughs) But I mean, um, besides all the trauma that that involved there, the food's awesome. Yeah. It's right. it's really great, like visually. The grounds are beautiful. It has it's just great views everywhere, and the beer right. was good. It's just right. the people suck. <laughs> like I really yeah. hated the people. Like we, the only table we could sit at that was dry was like an eight top, and I felt horrible. Nice. But I'm like, whatever. I was not in the mood That's anymore. Right. You you can spread out. You get a little ballroom exactly, there, right? you know. And, and we you kept know? getting eyeballed by people walking by trying to, I don't know, tell you, you know? <laughs> right. it's like, yeah, but I would definitely go back. I actually, I'm going to be going back in a few weeks because uh, uh, my brother-in-law, when his mom passed, they're doing a memorial service out because she loved Marblehead and all that. Sort of mm-hmm. like spreading her ashes out there. And then, although I think this is kind of whack, um, they're trying to, they tried to rent out that pavilion you know, because they're yeah. going to have, like, you know, they don't know how many people. We're going to have a lot of people. Right. And so they're, they're talking to the lady, and apparently it took them over a week to get in contact with these people, leaving messages, a whole weird things. But they're yeah. like, oh, how many people? Oh, with that many people, we can't. Like, you could rent it, but you have to have it catered, but not by us, because that will bog down our kitchen. It's like, what? Wow. <laughs> yeah, All so right. what the game plan is. So what happens if you just show That's up with the that game many plan. people? Right? Because like, this place is first still... come, first serve. Seat yourself. So yeah. we're, that's why that's right. I asked my sister. I'm like, so are we just showing up and taking over? She's like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's funny. I mean, I'm game, you know. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, it is beautiful. Well, that's the thing. It's like, look, if, you, if you've if you got seating for it, like what, I mean, you know, unless you just, I, you know, I guess, you know, you just have beers there, but it's like, come on, if you serve food and you've got the seating, there's always that potential that you could get full up, yeah. you know, it's like, I mean, I understand, you know, maybe understaffed and all that kind of well, stuff. It's but like it's, from you know. what my sister was telling me, like they're worried about everyone ordering at once. And my sister's like, it's not going to be like, it's like, everyone's going to kind of stagger in and out and. Yeah. But so that's yeah. why and it's you could, this Operation Takeover. Yeah, and that could even be controlled a little yeah. bit, you know, just hey, we can only take X amount of orders six orders at a time or whatever. Yeah. yeah, and like you said, you know, since it's a 
oh hey everyone showed up okay let's go order and you know or not everybody but you know what i mean like hey six of us showed up let's go get some food and then like we're not going to go to the memorial service but i'm going to try to get there right when the brewery opens so we can just hang out be the know? scout yeah right but, uh but then it was a the whole challenge of getting home yeah so i'm yeah. like i don't know it's like by that Kroger's was a uh, Napa auto parts store or whatever. And I was yeah. like, I'm going to just, we're going to limp our way back to that auto parts store and I'm going to go in and I'm going to see if they got like heat resistant tape. If they got something, something that I could just yeah. get that right. hose on there and just get home. Right. So I, I, I walk in and you know, I'm looking around the guy, you know, I just hear like, Hey, how can I help you? I'm like, bro, I need like a band aid or something. He's like, what? <laughs> and I explained to him what was going on. He's like, well, let me, let me go out and take a look at it. I'm like, all right. So I show him and he's like, Oh, that's actually, you know, he's like, that's just like a, a overflow hose for your vent. He's like, uh, we can either try to find something small to thread into it so you can, you know, connect it. Or he's like, or we could probably just plug it. And I went, huh? Okay. Uh, so we're we're looking at everything he's got, and he's like, I don't think anything I have will be able to take the heat. But yeah. he's like, but if we just get a bolt that's about the same size and thread it in there, and then with that clamp, and we'll just we'll just oh, plug okay. it. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, if if you think it'll work, <laughs> dude. And this it was like a young kid, you know. Yeah. All I'm picturing is that thing just firing out yeah, of there. That's kind of what I, <laughs> yeah. it, that's what I was thinking too. Like a bolt. You know. Yeah. I was just like, <laughs> like someone's gonna think you have a gun inside your your yeah, hood or exactly. something, you know. So we, we ended up finding this big ass bolt, and he got a wrench and threaded that shit in, and we put the clamp yeah. on it. And he's like, he's like, you know what? Actually, he's like, if if you start seeing steam or you're overheating, pull over. But he's like, I drove an F one fifty from up in the middle of Florida with this same exact situation here, and I made it home. I'm like, okay. all right. And he's like, and you're not going to build up any pressure because you don't have a closed system right now. So I'm like, oh, oh, like, uh, uh, okay. Enough. Now, mind you, sitting in Twin <laughs> Oast, I had already yeah. hopped on Amazon and ordered the part I needed to fix this shit. <laughs> the yeah, next course. day delivery, right. you know what I'm saying? And it was yep. actually half the price on Amazon as it was going to like one of my local auto parts stores, which I, I wish well, I'd rather do that, but. Sure. What are you gonna yeah, do but... if it shows up on my porch instead of me driving to you? I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, you know, yeah. Also, fuck it's you, tough Jeff to Bezos. Not be loyal I wish you to... stayed in space, but right. But it's it's tough to not be loyal to your wallet in those yeah, scenarios. It, you know, it's not Especially like I have like Steve's Auto Parts or something. I go to it. I like I go to like AutoZone or O'Reilly's. Yeah. You know? Right. So you're still buying from a yeah, corporation. Exactly. So yeah. Like, yeah. But uh, regardless. Yeah. Um, but dude, this dude's partner gave us the fucking weird. Like, of course, he immediately started talking to Michelle, I and mean, he was just like some big oaf. I, I said he had shark teeth because I know my teeth are like not great. <laughs> my teeth are fucked up. His teeth were like laying on top of each other. It was not a good scene. Ooh, and then he's thanks. just like, ah, oh, yeah. What years? It, it just it, the guy was a little special. I could just tell. I couldn't imagine working with this dude all day. Because I talked to him for right. about three minutes. I wanted to just dive into traffic immediately. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, regard, moral of the story is the plug worked. We made it home. Yeah, good, of course. Obviously. Yeah, obviously. I, I just, what a nightmare the day that was. I, I think yeah. that was the, my very it's, first day of vacation. <laughs> it sucks when that shit happens. We were going to Louisville one time, and uh, my brother's van blew i forgot what it was that blew out on it and basically it was just it all it you know it, it was holding no water basically like the radiator was just Spewing, empty yeah yeah you know and it was like it but it wasn't like a fast leak so basically we could drive a little bit then you have to put more water in it drive a little bit put water in it until we could get somewhere and it was like a million degrees of outside and we can't run the air conditioner, you know, and it, we're just melting in the vehicle because it was so hot. I mean, you like know, four years ago, I think that happened with my Jeep. Like I was driving yeah. to the cottage for a guy's weekend or something and just started overheating. I was like, what the fuck? And I had to top yeah. off of cool and I had to keep that's when I had to like replace everything in my cooling system. It was the same scenario. I yeah. drive for a while. I have to pull over. I have to top it off. 
and let yeah, it cool and down the whole too. Time I'm like running the heat full blast because that you know helps. And so I'm yeah, just like, thank right. God I didn't have the top on or anything, but just it was full blown heat and it's like 90 <laughs> outside. <laughs> I'm like, this sucks, right. you know. That's about what it felt like that for us, you know. And of course, you know, it had like had like black leather interior in his van, you know, so we're just sticking and you know, it was it was a mess. But and it was, you know, on the expressway when we first broke down and it was, you know, it, we had, you know, uh a cop saw us pulled over and came over and you know was asking what was going on and you know whatever and where when the cop finally saw us we weren't that far from the exit so essentially we got a police escort nice. you know he threw the flashers and stuff on to keep cars off of us a little bit you know to like hey you know kind of like you know you have your four ways on but it's like a it was like pace um, car on you basically huh? yeah but he was doing it in case we you know completely broke down that way if we did need a ride into town we could yeah. you know have a ride which was nice of the guy to do, you know, because he could have just been like, eh, it looks like you're doing okay. See ya. Hey, <laughs> just off, outsiders, you know? go fuck yourself. Yeah, you know, and eventually we got into town and, you know, and then obviously, you know, we had to st- stay a night somewhere we didn't plan on because, you know, had to wait till the next day to get it fixed and all that garbage because it was, you know, it was, you know, because when we were going to Louisville, we always would go, you either go super early or late because you want to miss Cincinnati at uh, rush yes. hour, you know. So, and it was later that time, of course. So everything was closed. I don't even remember where we were at. We were in Kentucky, but it was just, you know, random town yeah, in Kentucky. Like three so. stick Kentucky or something crazy. Yeah. Some weird name. Yeah. We had to wait till the next morning to, you know, the guy fixed it. You know, they got it done as quick as they can and, or could and, you know, got us back on, on track. But it, it just sucked that it, you know, took a, a day away from us and stuff. And it, it was just awful the trip was awful, you know, like that was just the worst part because like he said, you know, it was just hot as balls and all that going on, you know, it was like, ah, of course. <laughs> yeah. You know, we dropped the vehicle off and, uh, you know, we, uh, my brother rented a car and then we went to, uh, you know, hotel and, you know, both, you know, like I was like, I'm going to take a fucking shower cause I'm dying, right. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> And get all this sweat off of me. Plus, I need to cool down. So I took probably an ice cold shower or something, you know. But yeah, what are you going to do? You know, when you travel, that's always uh, a risk, you know. And I mean, cars are pretty resilient, you know. Yeah, I mean, we've been through so much shit over the years with all the traveling we did. You know, it's it it sucks. It just really can suck sometimes when you're just stuck. Yes. Like something will break down and you're just nowhere. You know, and you're like, well, I hope someone else comes by because we need a ride into a gas station or, <laughs> you know, whatever. Fortunately, most of those rides, my dad or my brother were with us and, you know, they both knew how to fix shit in cars. Right. But like your scenario, it's like sometimes you hit a point where you're like, there's nothing I can do I, with like, this. I, I mean, I know it now, but plugging yeah. that hose never even occurred to me. Yeah. So it wouldn't be a terrible idea. Maybe keep that bolt in your glove box or something, you know, in the event that it ever happens again, you're ready. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I, I got something I can throw high in the air and hope it hits me right in the temple. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's why I said that was my biggest fear is that this thing's just going to rifle out of that hose. Yeah. It's, yeah. Like, it's, that's something that, like I said, I'll, I'll forever have that locked in my brain now. Like, oh, okay. Like future, yeah. future reference. Like you can just plug that shit up and hope for the best. Right. Right. You know, oh, worst case God. scenario, you know, you have Michelle drive back and you just, you know, sit there with your thumb over it, you know, <laughs> <laughs> just yelling out directions. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Well, yeah, that was that was very special, though. I mean. Sounds like a yeah, blast. We made it home. That's all matters. And we had a really good dinner. So. Well, at least you, you got the having a good time at the brewery and stuff, too, you know, because. It sucks worse when, like, especially if you're going to do something, like, you know, can you imagine, like, same thing happens, but you're going oh, to God, work, yeah. like, right? Like, you've just had this shitty thing. Now you're you're at work all day, and you're I just mean, the I'll whole time. I'll be honest. <laughs> it took me a little while to get out of that headspace of you know, fuck the world. Sure. <laughs> but yeah, once once I got out that, of it, we were good. We did a, a flea market near Chicago one time, and on the way back, our motorhome uh blew a tire and it was at like 10 o'clock at night so of course nothing's open you know and 
And so uh, the tow truck, you know, like, so now, you know, my, my dad's got to pay for a tow truck, yeah. which, so he's real happy about that. Cause you know, that cuts into what you just spent all weekend right. making, you know? So that cuts into that. And now he's got to get a hotel room because, you know, we normally would just stay in the motor home, but we can't because it's being towed to a, you know, a, tight, a, a yeah, shop. Job. So it's like, he even thought about having the guy just kind of drop us somewhere stay the night in the motor home and then the next day have it towed the rest of the way basically. But, um, you know, so then my brother rented a car because obviously you gotta have some transportation. Then the next day would come to find out that whatever tire size it was, they didn't well, have of course. So it was going to be like another, I can't remember if it was a day or two for them to get a tire in, you know? So it was like, I, I mean, the big upside to the whole thing for me was I got to miss two days of school because of it. Cause you know, we'd come home Sunday night normally, but because of that, we we're stuck. So we didn't come home, right? you know, until Tuesday, I think. So I got Monday and Tuesday off of school. Which is so. nice. Quite nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, my dad and my brother were not in a good mood, especially, you know, my dad got over it pretty quick because, you know, him, his temper, you know, he he cooled down pretty quick. But they were still both kind of irritated the whole time and rightfully so, because, you know, that shit always just weighs on you, especially then you're like, man, we just had to, we just went and tried to make some money. And now we're just throwing all this money right yeah, out the window. Exactly. basically. Or all that work you just did is. Yeah, it feels like you just wasted your not. time, basically. Yeah. yeah, like we should have stayed home, yeah. <laughs> you know, so, yeah, I, I hear you. It's very, very frustrating. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. It's the only downside about a road trip. I've never had major car problems on a road trip, but, yeah. Yeah, I've, the worst I've been through have been like that kind of stuff, like yeah, a blown tire stuff car. Stuff like that, yeah. Yeah, blown tires are scary as well, fuck. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if you've been through that or <laughs> Well, and then the car yeah, just it does its own you know, thing for a little while. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, uh, you know, again, I've been fortunate. The people I've been with when that happens are very seasoned drivers. So they were basically just like, yeah, okay, yeah. whatever. So, you know, get out, put the put the donut on it and drive it to wherever. You're, well, not on the motorhome. We didn't have a donut for the motorhome. You know, but donut. That, that wouldn't really work. Feel like a yeah. fritter because, you know, big but, and beefy. Um, yeah, right. But on the van, you know, that we used to drive around, or vans, uh, I should say, you know, those you could throw a donut on until you could get to a, a tire shop right. or something. Right, right, right. Good fun, though. Okay, Good fun. Is it? <laughs> no, it's not. It, it really sucks. I know, you know, different times, especially like when you're a kid, too, you know, like I, you know, my mom and I are sitting in the car while my dad goes to get whatever he needs to get to fix the problem or something, you know, like someone will give him a ride into the town and we're just sitting there. And it's like, it's funny because you don't like at the time I would have never, you know, I don't think we ever really thought about like, this is dangerous. We're just sitting here. Like we literally are just at the mercy of someone kind of coming up on us. You know? Yeah. You know, um, I mean, he wouldn't have, like if it was the middle of the night, it would have been like, now nah, we're all squeezing in this tow truck somehow, yeah. <laughs> you know, like someone hold on to the hook. Or we you got this. Guys, right. Or you guys go and I'll try to find another ride or something like that, you know, but uh, yeah, good, good times. Good stuff. Yeah. But some, I, yeah, definitely. I think everybody pretty much has gone through it at some point or another because, you know, cars for some reason, they're jerks and they don't warn you ahead of time that, you know. Hey, maybe you shouldn't take a trip on me. I'm I'm not feeling good yeah, today. Right. <laughs> like, hey, may, maybe bring a bolt with you. Like, why? Like, just, yeah, just, you'll yeah, see. Just take my word on it. You're gonna just love trust it. Me on this. Yeah, <laughs> right. Um, I have been taking my uh, my my vacation though serious in the whole the whole cooking thing. I've been making all kinds of fun shit this week. Oh, oh yeah. Man, I made... Well, I saw one. Them, them burn ends you made look hell legit as hell. Yeah. So. Made some poor man's burn ends. They were good as fuck. Yep. Nice. Um, nice. Yesterday I took bricks of cream cheese because I keep seeing this on on like Reddit and stuff. So you take mm -hmm. bricks of cream cheese and then you put them in dry like outside, obviously. Coat them in dry yeah. rub. So I did one dry rub, 
and I did one that was uh, everything bagel seasoning, and then you smoke those for three hours, and it's like Interesting. a delicious cheese ball, like on crackers. Oh boy, is yeah. it good! Huh. And then Interesting. today I made a burra. I think I say brown burria tacos. Okay. And that's like you take like beef short ribs and you cook them down all day and this delicious sauce I made out of like dried chilies and chipotles and all this good stuff. Yeah. And you know, you pull the meat out and then you take your tortillas and you kind of put them in the sauce that's left and a little bit of fat and then you fry the tortillas up. And then you oh, throw okay. the, right. like the meat and cheese in there and you crisp up both sides. You make these delicious little fried tacos. That sounds oh awesome. God, they were so yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, that sounds I, phenomenal. I made short rib ones, and then I tried making cauliflower ones. Cauliflower ones were good, but they were not nearly as good as the short rib ones. Well, I mean, how I, could you they you be, know, right? Leo was coming over for dinner. I'm like, I'm going to try it. Oh, yeah. No, nothing wrong with that, though, because, yeah. I mean, you know, it, maybe if nothing else, you're like, hey, you know, let's eat light tonight and have, Oh, bro, you know, these things are so good. Like, by light, I didn't mean good for you. You know, I'm meaning light as in, you know, not, not meat, meat yeah. heavy. Yeah. I mean, I've made the cauliflower <laughs> tacos before and they were good. I think the problem was um, if I would have went it's more cauliflower. traditional seasoning with the cauliflower ones. Because, you know, yeah. I don't think the seasoning I used for the short rib really worked well with cauliflower, you know? Oh, I see what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. Okay. So, but whatever. It was, it, it was what it was and all that. But God. You should, I mean, Brian, you should look at my, uh, they're on my Instagram. I put a picture of them up, which is uh, the monotony. <laughs> Cheap plugs. Yeah, I, I did. I saw that picture. I was wondering. Oh, uh, boy, was I'm wondering definitely making that. them again. And I, I, yeah. really, I, I forgot I about it. I had that. It's going to start creeping on the other side of your fence. Who, what? I think I said I decided I'm going to just like start creeping on the other side of your fence and just, you know, I mean, you don't have like, to creep. You're always welcome. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, why not go with my strength? Oh, fair enough. All right. <laughs> um, yeah, I forgot I had that big electric griddle. Like I've been thinking about buying a propane one. Yeah. The smallest I was gonna ask propane you about that. one is my electric one's bigger than the smallest propane one you can buy. So, oh, interesting. I was going to ask you about that because I knew you were thinking about it. I thought you no, pulled the trigger. That's what my it. mom bought me years ago, and I, I forgot. Very cool. I kind of forgot about it. Yeah, because the only one I have is like one of those that goes over like the burners on your stove. Yeah. You know, I've got one of those like flat top gimmicks. That, you know, it's mainly for like pancakes or something, but you can use it for you know oh, steaks gonna, and I'm other shit. Some shit out of this because I got that stainless steel table outside for my grill. Just yeah. run an extension yep. cord. Bam. Yeah, I want to. I yep. want to make some smash burgers this week out there. Yeah. Nice, but yeah, it's That's like uh, I've been cooking up a storm. It feels good, man. I mean, I like yeah, I like cooking anyway. So. It's it sounds like it turns out that even though your uh, you know the vacation wasn't exactly how it was supposed to be originally, yes. but it sounds sounds like you've turned it into maybe a better vacation or or a good move at least for the stay home it's, part it's of it. Good. You know, it's been good. I'm. It's where it feels feels still feels like a vacation, not yeah. just a oh, I'm just not going to work. Yeah, I've been trying you know? <laughs> to make the most out of it. I mean, tomorrow we have going up to Ann Arbor, and uh, then that you know, day after that, we're doing the beach thing. And in theory, yeah. we, you know, we have that gym membership. I took the uh, mm -hmm. Lee and her friend there yesterday because you know, Leah's like, Oh, well, you know, I want to start going to the gym, dad. I'm like, All right, so we'll go, let's say Monday. She's like, oh, okay, yeah. and I picked her up. She and her friend, I didn't know her friend was really coming. And yeah. I'm like, they're like, well, did you bring your bathing suit? I'm like, no, I, Leah, you want me to show you how to, like, work out? She's like, well, yeah, but Ash is here. All right. Well, I'm like, well, you guys go hang out in the pool. I, I don't yeah. I don't have my swim trunks. I guess I'm going to go exercise, and then we'll just re re reconvene. And right. the outdoor pool at that place is great. It's got like little cabanas and shit everywhere. I'm like, why don't we take advantage of this? <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, so I right. think tomorrow um, afternoon, after Leah's done doing things, she's got to like chores and stuff. She's got to get done. Uh, I think we're gonna go hang out at the pool and maybe do it again before I go back to work. Because why not? You know? Why not? Right. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to make the most out of this. Uh, 
what you know staycation that I kind of got strong armed into. Right. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's why I said you know maybe it's kind of for the best though you know because you're having yeah, a time I'm indeed having a time. So that's awesome. I'm sorry, speaking of Leah, she just texted me. Say knock it off. We're recording. <laughs> I told you I was podcasting tonight. What's wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh man. I uh, I'm I'm running out of things to talk about, but I do have one thing I need to bring up, and I wish I could have got a picture okay. of it. All right. <clears throat> I saw a tattoo today. Yeah. And it was it was on this dude's whole calf, right? And it was yep. like, it was a Wonder Woman tattoo. Picture mm-hmm. it. Say you went to a tattoo bar. And you're like, I need a Wonder Woman tattoo on my calf. And I want it to look like Wonder Woman from the animated series. Right? Okay. Now, mm-hmm. there's no tattoo artist there. It's just a guy who cleans up. And he's never seen the animated series. Because <laughs> that's what we got going on here. It was one of the worst renditions of Wonder Woman I've ever seen in my life. But the icing on the cake was Wonder Woman was topless. Of course. And her nipples were pierced with the lasso of truth connected to each other. (laughs) It was very creative. (laughs) Wow. That's so... Do you know what's funny, though? You say that, and the first thing that goes into my head is like, well, that would be useless. She doesn't need to use the lasso on herself. (laughs) Well, that's your damn comic book brain kicking in, Brian. Like, well, that just doesn't make sense. (laughs) Well, actually, no. Yeah. Actually, no. uh... (laughs) Yeah. Not to mention, man, she must have some giant-ass nipples to... I know, right? Here's some rope. You know, her, her nips are like, it's not like, like that gauged out or line. something. Yeah, it's like that thing's not like a fishing line. That's like a rope. Right. That's a, you know, exactly. that's a that's a not a, just a rope. That's like an ancient Greek rope. Yeah. They, didn't, they didn't have like paracord and shit back then. You know, damn, she must have some giant yeah. nipples. <laughs> Who knew? Big old you know? pepperoni nips of them, like like big carpenter yes. pencil erasers yeah. on them. Yeah. Must be. Yeah, it I, looks like damn. a couple of push pops wow, underneath that's... that armored brazier. Wow. That is something. Now, see, the move on somebody like that is you need to be like, bruh, I need to get a, ta- a picture of that tattoo. And he'll probably be like, yeah, it's pretty badass, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, he'll be like, no, I know. It's so stupid. I don't know what I was thinking. No, no. You take the picture first and you go, no, it's really not. And then you walk away. <laughs> <laughs> It's pretty terrible, actually. I'm uploading it to Sucky Tattoos right yeah, now or whatever. Exactly. Right? <laughs> Trust me, this will be talked about on my podcast. <laughs> Good chance you're going to be front page of Reddit soon. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeesh. Yeah, it was it was something, Brian. I don't get that stuff, man. Like, I, I really don't. Like, I don't understand the... Like, if you're going to get a Wonder Woman tattoo, why not just get it? I mean, I, I will say this. Originality, I'll give it a 10, right? As far as I've never seen anything like that before. Yeah, I mean, that's about how I felt. Like, I, it, I, it caught my eye because I was like, oh, Wonder Woman tattoo. And then I saw the rest of it. Yeah. And I was just like, holy shit. <laughs> I never understand getting that kind of stuff on your person though. I mean, I, I guess I shouldn't say that. Cause you know, I've seen plenty of pinup girls on people's arms and legs and whatnot that I thought were pretty badass, but right. It's just such a weird thing to, you know, like, you know, you guys sit in chair and he's like, all right, man, here's, here's, I want you to do wonder woman. The guy's like, cool. No problem. You know, it's like from the animated series, but like, cool. No problem. But like, but I want it to be topless. And the guy's like, okay. You know? And then you're like, and yeah. hold on. <laughs> You thought I was done. (laughs) And I want the last of truth going through her nipples. Like what? What? Like a belt? (laughs) No, like a piercing bro. Oh, right. Like, uh, like, okay. I think we can do that. (laughs) Like, yeah. Crazy. Oh boy. Yeah. 
Yeah. Sounds like the an idea somebody came up with when they were like really high or they're just, you know, like epic level creep. Uh, yes. Whichever. Yes to both. Because looking at the guy, it could have went either way. Yeah. Is that guy that always is like, oh, is there a topless cover of the comic? When it comes out. And you got a Van Gloria. Those fucking creeps that used to come in. Yes. The collectors only bought the, what was it, Avatar Press books or whatever yeah, it was. Basically the nudie books of the comic book world. Yeah. Yeah, so like just every get a Playboy. <laughs> Seriously, dude. Like, come on. Yeah, I uh, or start buying some pinup art. I mean, I mean, well, some respect. as soon as I saw the the tattoo, I you were had immediately to scan up to see the dude. <laughs> right, and you also were like, "Bro, where did you get that work done?" <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's like, "Oh, because I want to avoid that place." Yeah, because that place <laughs> looks like trash. <laughs> Was. Was the tattoo at least a good tattoo? No. Like quality? No. It was the, oh, everything about it was bad. <laughs> like the only redeeming quality is this story. Right. So originality, it's a 10 on everything else. It's a oh, zero, yeah, okay, basically. Yeah. The originality is way, it's off the charts. Everything else right. was just, it was just trash. Jeez. Those are, I, I would love to, that, to really know like a lot of the guys who sit in like the artist alleys at the comic conventions, you know, yeah. that yeah. are the type that it's like, Hey, basically I'll draw kind of whatever for the money. Cause I'm just here trying to get my name out and trying to make a few bucks, you know, right. like I'd love to hear some of the shit that they oh, got I'm asked sure to do. By terrible. Me. You know, like how many times have you been asked to draw, you know, black cat topless or, you know, Laura Croft with her tits out, you know. Yeah, or Laura Croft and Black Cat scissoring. Right, yeah. right, of course. Naturally. As, as, yeah, right. Like you do. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know. People are weird. Yeah. It's just, you know, and it's not like, it's not like he commissioned that and it's on a piece of paper that he kept keeps on his wall. It's, it's on his person. fucking leg. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Uh, just, yeah, no, and and clearly he likes it because if he didn't, I can't imagine he'd be wearing shorts. Oh, yeah, for sure. Be he wearing pants thinks, all the time. He probably looks at it every day. And he's like, yeah, that mm-hmm. is awful. nailed it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking oh, my. artwork, guys. Yeah, yeah, it's something. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. Yeah. The worst part would be if it's like. If it was supposed to be some like cosplay girl who who you know does nudies or whatever, can you imagine like you're 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 that lady and you get that DM? It's like, hey, I got you tattooed on my leg, and you're like, oh god, do I look that bad? <laughs> I can't imagine any cosplay girl because I'm sure it's happened where someone's gotten their likeness tattooed on them. Oh, it has happened. I've seen. Oh god, imagine that. That's got to be a terrifying DM to receive. Oh, right. Yeah, there was one. I God, I don't remember what it was. I remember this back when I was on DeviantArt all the time. One of the ones that I followed, she posted it and was like, please, no one ever do this. The guy reached out to her and she was like, please do not do that. Like, please don't get my likeness put on you. And he did it anyway. And it was so bad. And uh, in my head, I'm kind of going, well, at least it doesn't look like you that way. Right. You know, some won't see it and immediately go, hey, that's, I don't know, whoever cosplay, you know, like a <laughs> person. <laughs> They're just going to go, wow, that's a terrible Wonder Woman or whatever. Yeah, you know, yeah, exactly. Like, is that Wonder What is going on here? Right. Like, wow, Gal Gadot really let herself go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just did it's, a quick, like, I, I, I mean, Google's so skewed. I'm just trying to find, like, anything about that. But it's yeah. just, you know, hot tattooed chicks can cosplay, basically. Yeah, I've seen it a couple of times, like, because I've seen, and there's been times where the the portraits have been really good, and there's been some flattery to it, because the work is so good, you, it's hard to not respect the work, at least, right? you know? But that's still got to be weird Yeah, for somebody, you know? But, you know, how, how many people have some you know, movie character or a wrestler or something on them. You know, I saw one guy who had a whole back piece that was like, um, 
uh, the 60s Batman, and it was phenomenal. Hmm. So, you know, the best part was in the middle. It was, you know, Adam West, like, doing the Batusi, basically. So. <laughs> I mean, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I dug it. It, it was good. His weren't pierced with a Batarang or something? No, no. Well, maybe, but he had his suit on, so you couldn't tell. He's you know? got a Batarang Prince Albert. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man. Yikes. <laughs> battering. <laughs> you say batter wang? No, batter ring. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. I uh, but but the work was phenomenal. So like I said, at least you respect the yeah, it, even if I mean, that's the thing. If this was phenomenal work, I'd be like, well, it is what it is, but boy, it looks like Alex Ross tattooed that on his leg. Right, yeah, exactly, but instead yeah, it looks cool. like, you know, some six-year-old with a box of crayons. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Like he's like, yeah, he just had like his his kid draw it and then put, you know, don't ask why his kids drawing the nipples like that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. This kid's weird. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Billy, I'm gonna need you to draw something for Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a pretty good artist. I've seen your uh, sketchbooks and uh, such. Dad, those nah, are nope. existing coloring books. <laughs> right now, I, now I know you know what nipples are. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ugh, fucking Thanks. weird. That's good. The story was worth it, though. Yeah, you know what are you gonna do? I am sad. I didn't. I didn't get oh, to yeah. see a picture. It was a glorious day earlier, and still not the most weird or shocking tattoo you and I have ever seen. No, <laughs> not even close. Anyway, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. um um, did you finish Loki? Hell yeah, I did. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. And yeah. yeah Enjoy that. Boy. Yeah. Boy, it is. Uh, yeah. Pandora's box sure seems to be open I now. Oh, right. So. Um, it's, it's kind of a uh, pretty exciting stuff. Yeah. And they confirmed season two, which is cool. Right. You know, uh, I was wondering on this one, if it was going to be a multi-season one or if it was just one season because you know like all the movies coming out soon kind of have to deal with the multiverse yeah. so i didn't know if they would you know like a second season of this i didn't know if it would be uh necessary but given that time works differently in the tva and blah 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 it was like well they could literally tell these stories from any point that they want to tell That's them true. from. yeah you know by the way there's a hot topic exclusive um, crocodile Loki. <laughs> That's awesome. That I might have to get one. <laughs> I mean, I saw someone made is making polo shirts, and so and the little crocodile's yeah. got the Logie oh, helmet on instead of the high side alligator. Yeah, yeah it's, it's so. Yeah, it's pretty good. Cool. It's pretty great. Did, you, did for anyone listening, if you haven't seen the episode, sorry for spoilers for the. Uh, it's, it's a crocodile, right? It's for an know, alligator. It's fucking a land dinosaur. Whatever. Yeah. So whatever it is. Um, if you haven't seen that episode, or even if you had, if you didn't notice how much they make the the thing emote, that go back and watch it. That was my favorite because it's part. Phenomenal. Like when it when it has like the shifty eyes. Yeah. At one point, I forgot what was said, and then it's kind of like, uh, you know, like it's looking kind of back and forth, and it gulps. I think at one point, and the emoting of it was phenomenal yeah. but it's so subtle that if you're really not paying attention you could have easily missed it yeah, the loki crocodile or whatever the fuck it was was one of my favorite parts for sure yeah. yeah for sure it was that was great and it wasn't you know it wasn't just like whatever it was like i said i loved how <laughs> how they actually had it have a personality oh it definitely had a personality it was that great was so awesome yeah it was great oh i, I yeah. see scrolling through Loki alligator things. I see the Funko Pop. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, Which if you want, yeah, to, that's a see, and you're just listening. Make sure you check out Salty Language on on YouTube. Salty Language Pod. You can watch us, not quite live, but you can see our beautiful faces. Sure, sure. You're into it. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, I uh, I finished that. I finished Rebels this week. Nice. Star Wars Rebels, um, which, you know, was a really good. Um, have you watched all of that or no? Negative. No? All right. Too busy rewatching Spawn. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. So, yeah. So I think I'm going to do um, 
Mando season two. Totally and shit. Then the you haven't ba- watched Mando season two yet? No. <gasps> well, at my this feelings point, are hurt. Well, at this point too, it's like with Bad Batch coming out. It's like I'm gonna. I, I need to watch them in the order that they are, because watching Clone Wars and then Rebels can get a little confusing because of how the timeline mm-hmm. of the two shows is. Fair enough. You know, but uh, yeah, it was. Uh, but I highly recommend Rebels. It's it, you know the that's it's a great show. It really is. So they've done a phenomenal job between Clone Wars and that, really telling some good stories in the Star Wars lore of characters. Well, more so in this one of characters that you just were not really familiar with right. and such. So that's nice. that's. Pretty neat, dude. Pretty neat, fucking dudes. Yeah. Did you see the um the well? You, you heard about the there's that um what's it called Roadrunner or whatever that documentary about Anthony Bourdain. Oh, did you see? I thought you meant about the documentary about the coyote and Acme. No, and, no, 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 not that one. Acme. No, <laughs> big Acme. Yeah. yeah. Dude, somebody should do a documentary, like a mockumentary kind of thing of that. That'd be great. Telling the, the ups and downs of the company and whatnot. I mean, um, you just call it Big Acme. Right. Or like a behind the music on <laughs> kind of a type show on Roadrunner and Wiley Coyote and, you know, like explaining how he actually paid for all that stuff and, you know. And just cut to like the up close interview of Roadrunner. Just me, 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 me. He's like middle aged roadrunner now, you know? Yeah, right. <laughs> got a pair of new balance yeah, on. New balance. Yeah. He's got a pot belly. Yeah. Wife and kids in phone, the background. Phone clipped on his waist. Yep. Yeah. Um No, I've not seen this, but I you know, I'm a big Bourdain fan, so Well, the thing is it's there's been a lot of controversy with it because I guess in the movie, um, there's lines in it that are that were taken from like emails that he sent to a friend. And they used like a deep fake AI to fabricate his voice. Oh, that's weird. So it it sort of I heard the cl- one of the clips and it was like, dude, that does and doesn't sound like him, but mostly to me it doesn't. It's like, it's like it's that weird missing. uncanny uncanny valley shit, huh? Yeah, it's like uh-huh. well, what it ends up being is it's like you can replicate the sound, but it's missing the soul, basically. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> exactly. Yep. So it was like, and I don't. I've read some stuff. I'm, I'm curious about the movie. There's been a lot of people really not like bagging on it and stuff. Like the director, you know, kind of like he's using it for, you know, just to make himself, you know, make a name for himself, kind of a thing, or really get more notoriety and whatnot and whatever. So I, I don't know. At some point, if it's on some streaming service, mm-hmm. I have. I might. It, but I'm, I'm it, I don't know. It feels weird. I guess it, with the deep fake voice, he he got the blessing of someone in his like his management group or you know whoever controls his estate or whatever. Um, but one of his previous like was it his second wife? I think it was said she was never asked about it, and she's like he wouldn't have wanted that. And in my head, that was the first thing I thought. Is it's like I can't see Anthony Bourdain being a big fan of that. No, I agree. I I feel like he'd be like, nah, fuck that, you know. Yeah, God no. Yeah. yeah. So, um, it's a little weird. It is, you know. Ag- agreed. You know, because I think it's supposed to focus more on his depression and you know, kind of his uh downward spiral that led to his death. You know, and. Which I think is a story people should hear because people need to hear those tough stories of people that have gone through depressive states and and how hard the fight is and all that kind of stuff. But I you know I don't know I haven't seen it so I don't know how well it handles it and all that kind of stuff right, you know. Right. But I just mainly wanted to talk about the deep fake thing because that's really got a lot of people. It's really chapped a lot of asses. <laughs> I imagine it has. And I'm not gonna lie, it kind of chapped my ass. Especially after I heard a clip of it, and I was like, "That doesn't yeah, like that's feel not even close, guys." Yeah, it's like it, it does. You know what I mean? Like you know, it's kind of his voice, but it just it feels almost more like if someone was doing an impersonation or something. It's just it doesn't hit as ring as true. You know, it, right. it's it's strange. So yeah, hmm. and of course, I wanted to bring up 
this week, you know, that, uh, you know, we, we, we lost Bismarck. He, I know what a bummer. Huh? Yeah. Oh baby. you. Which man, you talk about seeing people posting all sorts of tributes and stuff to him and not just from that, but from a bunch of other shit that he's done and, you know, cause that's what he's known for. Everybody knows him as the, just a friend. Yeah. Uh, you know, guy in the, Oh baby, you, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> And, you know, I saw him back back in the day. I saw him in concert, and he put on a great show. You but, actually uh, saw him live? Yes, that, in one of my... That, <laughs> dude, I got to see him, Young MC, and Millie Vanilli. That's awesome. <laughs> that was... Because my sister won tickets to it, and I got to go I mean, I'm, to I'm not mad at that at all. Yeah, right. And Young MC and, and uh, Biz Marquis put on a great show. And Millie Vanilli was what it was. So, you know. <laughs> I mean, uh, fun fact, I, it's, I believe it's coming up real soon. One of the uh, freaking downtown concert series they're doing. It's yeah. like Young MC, CNC Music Factory, Vanilla Ice. And oh, jeez. I know that. Another, wow. I can't remember who the other one is. There's another, another group, like hip-hop group from that era. Wow, all I right. Know, right? I, I kind of looked at it and I was like. I kind of want to go to that, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it looks like uh, looks like he died from complications of the beatus. The beatus, so. god damn beatus! Stay yep. off the sugars, people. Yeah, yeah. Hmm, but go. yeah, I'm all for Clint. Sad, sad moment there. And also last week, I think it was, or whatever. Like, you remember I talked about, um, or the week before I talked about Terry Funk and his oh, condition or whatever. Yeah. Apparently Tommy Dreamer, who I don't know if you remember him or not from ECW days. I remember. Mostly. Yeah. Um, said he talked with, uh, Terry Funk and that, you know, he's just got a little issues with his brain, but otherwise he's, you know, doing great basically. Right. So, who knows how the truth on that, but like, right. I think it was that night when we talked about that, like, uh, do you remember like Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff? Yeah. Yeah. He passed away that night that we were talking about it, I believe last week. So I mean, wrestling another... man dropping dead. I'm not shocked. Yeah. Dude. One of the things that blew my mind a little bit was like, um, six, I think it was like, they showed like, first of all, the whole Heenan family from back in the day is gone. Really? Like all the guys that were part of it are dead basically from the one era. Although when they were saying that, I'm like, I'm pretty sure Haku was part of that and he's still around. So maybe they're meaning before him right. or something. Um, but I saw another one that would kind of showed that like Hulk Hogan's like first six WrestleMania opponents are all dead. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. You think about it, it's like, you know, Andre Roddy, uh, Paul Orndorff, um, shit, I forgot who else now. I can't believe I can't remember these. My mind is just blank. Or six of, oh, uh, Ultimate Warrior's gone. Um, Macho Man. And shit, who was the other one? Ah, oh, I can't think of the other one that's gone. But yeah, there's like five or six that are, they're all dead. <laughs> it's like, oh, wow. That's pretty good. That's pretty <laughs> wild. Know? Yeah. So, hmm. I know I'm forgetting somebody. I can't think of who it is. I gotta look because that's gonna bug the shit out of me. <laughs> can't help it, can you? I can't. Well, if my browser cooperates, that is, and I don't think it's going to. Well, maybe. So, uh, yeah. Well, that is, so that yeah, is it was crazy. Uh, right. I mean, but it's but, not like it's an easy life. Let's be honest. Right, yeah. and and also, you know, like a lot of those guys were, uh, you know, they a lot of them were not old, but older. Yeah. You know, oldish. The heck? Oh, that's ranked. Okay, that's not what I want. I just want a list of his opponents. I don't need them ranked. Oh well, Yokozuna, gone. Well, I mean, for sure. Yeah, he went against. Uh, was it the Mega Maniacs? Oh no, that was that's Ted DiBiase in uh, uh, IRS. Wait, no, that's Money Inc. Oh, that's right. Dub Mega Maniacs was Hogan and Beefcake as a team. That's right. So yeah, Andre's gone. Sid Justice is still around, or Sid Vicious. Sergeant Slaughter's still around. Uh, Mr. T's around, but Paul 
Orndorff and Roddy Piper, who were a tag team against him and Mr. T, both gone. Right. King Kong Bundy. I believe King Kong Bundy's gone. Maybe he's not. I don't remember. He's got to be dead. <laughs> I feel like he is, but I don't know. You know, obviously Macho Man. No, Vince is still alive. Ultimate Warrior and The Rock is still around. Yeah, he, so, yeah. He died two years ago, King Kong Bundy. Okay. So most of Hulk Hogan's WrestleMania opponents are dead, except for like, you know, what, three? Yeah. <laughs> you know, one of them being The Rock. So hopefully he'll be around for quite a while, you know. But uh, yeah, it was just like, holy shit. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, like you said, the 80s in wrestling was was a rough patch of things yeah, for a lot. Exactly. It's not like now when everyone's like, you know, taking care of their bodies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. It was back in the day of let's power drink and do drugs all night. <laughs> yeah, right. We'd bang people, you know, bang women's, yeah. and then we'll drive to the next gig and do it all over again. Do it all over. That's right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that's pretty pretty insane. Yeah. So yeah, so all right. That's that's what I got for the week. That's what I got too, my guy. All right. Well, let's do us a. Uh... Oh no, I forgot. I got one oh, more. Shit. I almost forgot. This one. All right, what you got? This was a news a news story that I I found oh yeah I'm waiting for the page to load oh, sorry course. god damn that page yeah. right all right so um sorry i'm just kind of looking to make sure this is a legit site <laughs> you, uh, you don't want to get burned like i do <laughs> just dive in head first uh, brian fuck it all right so it says stranded rancher survives on beer for two days 53-year-old Frank Reynolds found himself pinned under an ATV for two days with only water and Keystone Light to keep him alive. So water and water. So water, yeah. (laughs) But but yeah, apparently he was pinned under the ATV with a dislocated shoulder and uh, several broken ribs. Fortunately, he had a cooler full of water and Keystone Light. Hell (laughs) yeah. Never leave home without that Keystone. (laughs) Yeah. Um... But yeah, he adequately stayed um, hydrated, you know, because of his beer <laughs> and his water. So <laughs> I see it says he 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 likes to think it's the beer to keep up kept him going. Yeah, <laughs> I mean it's Keystone Light, bro. Yep, that might have been the universe just trying to whack him for drinking Keystone. Could be, yeah. But hey, you know, it kept him kept him around, I guess. So he's you know. I mean, I I feel uh, I feel attacked by the end of this article. Yeah. When it says, "Can you imagine the agony of chugging a six pack of Guinness while stranded in rural Wyoming, or some grassy, yeah. vaguely rubbery IPA, or shudder a warm coffee stout?" I'd rather perish under an ATV. I feel attacked. <laughs> I would That's love fair. to be pinned under an ATV and have like a a case of IPAs. <laughs> like this is lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this. If you had to pick what kind of beer you had to be stranded with and it's hot and whatever, ideally you would want something that's a little more, you know, water and whatever to keep you alive. Oh, but hell no. I want a nice like seven and a half percent hazy <laughs> IPA to taste amazing. Right? At least I'm going to yeah, enjoy I... myself and get fucking hammered. <laughs> <laughs> Well, see, that would be the problem is that I assume you'd probably you're supposed to pace yourself so that you, you know, you're using it to stay alive. Not if I had like you know, a 30 pack of M43s. Oh, boy. Can you imagine the rescue crew shows up, right? You're under the ATV and you're just reeking of booze empties everywhere around you. And they're just like, oh, God, this guy got drunk and wrecked. And you're like, fuck you. I got drunk after. Yeah. I wrecked. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder what a thirty pack of M forty three would cost. <laughs> oh God, I'm sure a lot. A thirty pack of Keystone Light, I think, is about like uh, what about like two dollars and forty eight cents or something. <laughs> you know, a thirty pack of M forty three, just judging by the last time I bought a four pack of it, would be a hundred and thirty four dollars. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to go, though. <laughs> what a way to go. Like, damn, this guy's balling. He had thirty of these. <laughs> it's the old like you know waiting through the empties to get to you kind of a thing you know? i gotta see how much a, a 30 pack of keystone is sir sir you okay <laughs> like 
oh my god he's delirious <laughs> like no he's just drunk <laughs> he's fucking hammered yeah oh my god i forgot how like cheap 12, keystone 12, is 1298 or something like that Bro, a 30 pack of keystone light is cheaper than a four pack of m43 <laughs> <laughs> Coming in at 4.1%. Yeah. I haven't had a Keystone in forever. I can't imagine it tastes... It's got It's got to no. taste like shit. I haven't had a Keystone since I was in my, like, you know, college beer drinking days. You know, where you're drinking natties and, you know, whatever is cheap that you can buy in 30 packs, basically. Yeah, yeah. Well, you need a rack of 30 to, you know, right. to get you slightly buzzed. <laughs> right. You're just you're just sitting there whacking them all night, you know. And at the end, maybe you get buzzed, like you said. Yeah, exactly. Definitely wake up with the beer shits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> for sure. This is no good. I can you? Oh, uh, I can't imagine what you know beer shits would be like if you whacked down a thirty of uh, M forty threes though. No, no, once you hit beer M forty three number five, you transcend. You become a god. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know if you knew <laughs> that's, that. That's why they only sell it in four packs. Yeah, exactly. That's why well, it's so expensive too. It's like you hit beer twenty five. Oh boy. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Like I can see through time. <laughs> exactly. You go beyond go. the veil, like in the last episode of Loki, you know? You, you, right, you find the right. observatory or whatever. Yeah. Whatever yeah. Whatever that was. Well, it's, it's interesting because it could be a few things, you know? Like that whole ending and who that is and stuff could be a couple of different things. Oh, yeah, for sure. But no, it's sp- very... but no spurlers. No, no. I mean, if... But I will say this... Um, if people are listening, if you don't understand, look, look it up because there's good explanations for it. And it's, it's tough because it essentially <laughs> it had I, without Sperlin, it's like, it could be one character, but it very well could be something completely different. Yeah. You know, it, it's a weird, weird setup, but you know, obviously done on purpose because purpose they want to. Keep us confused, bastards, and whatever. Those bastard games. By the way, one of the best pieces in that whole uh, series so far was classic Loki. Oh yeah, that that dude's performance was phenomenal. Yeah, I I really enjoyed him. So anyway, all right. Well, now let's do a Q of the W. Q of the W. Last week. God damn, I wish I had more beverage. I done drank everything. Yeah, wait, no. Mm. Oh. Last week we asked you, what is your favorite breakfast? Now, I would have thought we would have gotten buried in responses. Yeah. People know how I feel about breakfast. Yeah. And I was expecting the breakfast floodgates to open. Maybe that's why no one responded. They were like, "Well, if if we all respond, Tony's just going to be rigid for days." I mean, it's true. Yeah, it's true. Um, so we got Diamond Top fan, Big Dev. He says, yeah. "Eggs Benedict, Tequila Sunrise, and a bowl of Cinnamon Life cereal, or <laughs> anything from the Flapjack Shack in Traverse City." Which, Amen. The Jack Shack up there is one of the best <laughs> breakfast spots you can go to. Fair That's enough. the place where they have pancakes that are loaded with bacon, ham, and sausage. Yeah, there's nothing They're wrong with that. fucking incredible. <laughs> I was just laughing at the <laughs> the egg, Eggs Benny, whatever it was, and the bowl of life cereal. The tequila Sunrise and Cinnamon Life. Yeah. Now, was that all one breakfast? I assume or so. Was... I mean, if you look on cereal commercials, it's like part of a balanced breakfast, and there's like an omelet That's true. and a grapefruit and a cocktail. Yeah. And I'm assuming the orange juice has vodka in it, you know? Right. right. <laughs> like, who would just drink orange juice just for pleasure? Right. I, I don't think, uh, I, I don't know that kids should probably be having the, you know, a screwdriver with breakfast, but you know, whatever, yeah, whatever they got to grow up sometime. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It'll help them in school. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Um, and Start the day off with the, of the dog. That, yeah. That's, that's all I got, man. Just diamond fan, big dev over here. No one answered on the instas or nothing. 
Well, I I got I got one from Cheeto. Ah, we love our Cheeto. And he says his favorite breakfast is uh, pancakes. Hands down, it's pancakes specifically. And now I will unleash my inner stoner and say it's pancakes with crunchy peanut butter and syrup. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. I saw The Rock uh, just did like his his cheat meal. Um, what uh, Sunday, I believe it was, and he's doing like crunchy granola on his now. I've had or on top granola of pancakes sports. and they're fucking amazing. And I was like, that's a strong move on his uh, what's he call it? Rock toast, on uh, you know, which is his four inch cut brioche French toast that he has because <laughs> he's a savage on cheat day de- or you know, cheat meal. Um, where was it? Oh. And uh, did I read the end of this? Is it pancakes with crunchy peanut butter and syrup? Yeah. It says, no, I don't give a shit if it's real maple syrup that comes out of a can shaped like a cabin or if it pours out of Mrs. Butterworth's skull. I grew up poor as shit and was lucky to get Kroger brand, and that's still okay with me. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Amen, brother. I'm, I, I feel you on that. It's one of those things that when you grow up poor, no matter how good you've had, you know, like stuff like that or like mac and cheese, there's just something about having that shitty box of Kraft mac and cheese once in a while. Yeah, right. Every once in a while. It's just amazing. It just, it just takes you home. Yeah. Right. Um, he says, now throw some crispy bacon, sausage, links or patties, and a couple of over easy eggs on the plate. And you got an extra happy fat boy. <laughs> <laughs> And he says, throwing this out, he says, do you enjoy breakfast foods for dinner? Damn, I'm starving now. I mean, I breakfast for dinner yeah. is one of my favorite things to do. Breakfast is an anytime food. Exactly. Exactly. Like, I, we all know, oh, well, I mean, maybe not we all, but, you know, it, it, breakfast is called breakfast because it's, you know, you're fasting overnight right. and you break your fast and blah, blah, blah. But it's like, whatever. You know, whatever you eat after that is your breakfast. I mean, you know, if you eat like a handful of nerds and, a, you know, a, a pint of vodka, that's breakfast. You know, like I, I mean, I'm breaking my breakfast, you know, maybe after we get done podcasting <laughs> or breaking my fast, not breaking my breakfast, <laughs> breaking your breakfast. Yeah. yeah. Well, if maybe if you're having eggs, I you, will you might make you. Your... Yeah. <laughs> you say that to eggs every time, right? Yeah, exactly. Smash I would my break. Knee and I'm like, oh, I can't cook this. I mean, you could. could. It's probably a bad idea, though. True. Know? Unless you're eating the shells, too. <laughs> Just delicious. A little extra calcium. Yeah. Be all right. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Amazing for you. <sighs> so, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, definitely breakfast foods anytime, man. There's nothing wrong with Like, I, I, there's weird things, though. Like, a late night snack, I think a bowl of cereal can be great. Yeah. Uh, but I don't want, like, cereal for dinner. But if you were like, yo, here's the farmer's choice breakfast right. for dinner, I'd be like, okay, yeah, even right. though it's We're going to get like, you three eggs, two sausage, two bacon. We're going to get you ham. We're going to get you home fries. We're going to get you toast. You want cakes on the side? We got your pancakes. <laughs> That's what I want. You, it, you forgot the uh, cocktail. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. You got to have a cocktail, have a cocktail. apparently. <laughs> That's part of your balanced, balanced breakfast, breakfast, I guess. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> got to have that cocktail. That's right. Nothing says nothing says uh, healthy breakfast like vodka. I mean, it's true. Water life. Yeah, just saying. Makes sense to me. Yeah, right. Or a little bloody. Dip your pancakes in. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So soak your breakfast meats in there for a minute before you eat them. Hell you know? yeah. Hmm. Hmm. You know it, brother. So yeah, that's that's what we got for this week. Just those two, I guess. Yeah, that's that's what we got. That's, I mean, it's all right. I mean, my feelings are slightly hurt, but I'll get over it. As they should be, yeah. yeah. Dang it. All right, as soon as this loads, we'll have a question for this one. All right, one through eight. Oh, shit. Let's go number one, man. What? Yep, n- right. number one stunna. All right, so here's one of those, like, thinker ones. <laughs> uh, aliens have come to visit Earth. They've asked you to pick three things they can take back with them as souvenirs that represent human culture. What do you choose to give them? That represent human culture. Yeah. Clearly a 30 rack of Keystone Light. (laughs) Of course. (laughs) Yeah, naturally. Naturally. (laughs) Um, 
the human culture I want to represent is going to send them with some good ass brisket. Okay, I ain't mad at that. Okay. And now we got to do something a little on the sweet side. What's uh? Hmm. I'm gonna think Go something along the lines of like Swedish fish vodka. Yeah. No. <laughs> Um, it's because you, you got to ask yourself questions, right? Like, first of all, it's like, so I'm this is we're assuming they're friendly at this point, true. right? Because because if they weren't, you might be like, well, let's give them something to go. Wow, this place sucks. We're not coming back. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah, you're right. I'm assuming they're friendly, although they're going right. to taste that 30 rack and they're just going to glass the planet. <laughs> so I'd do the same. Right. Um. No, I saw. OK, yeah. 30 rack of Keystone. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, some amazing brisket, low and slow for like eighteen hours, right? And then I'm gonna go because yeah, I was, I was trying to think of something sweet, but I'm not really a sweet guy. So if I'm the ambassador here, I'm just gonna send them with some really good ass bread. You know, it's got the the crust of a little bit of a chew, mm-hmm. a nice soft interior. So a loaf of wonder, right? Yeah. Now you're talking. Yeah, the kind of bread you can smush down into a golf ball. That's right. the whole loaf. <laughs> right. I'm going to send him some, like, Kraft mac and cheese, a loaf of Wonder Bread. <laughs> like some banging, just, like, fresh baked bread. All right. Yeah. Hopefully they can eat it. It'd be weird Wait, if they're... Did you say items or just, just food? Am I just, like, just rattling off food because I'm a just, food guy? Just three, just three things. You oh, can choose well, one. Okay. Right. I, I'm so thinking just, food. So... Right. Rewind. Okay. Me... A jet ski, fireworks, and a 30-pack of Keystone. <laughs> yeah, so now I'm going 30-rack <laughs> Keystone. Okay. Yeah. Um, the ATV that rolled on that guy. Oh, damn. All right. Yeah. Just to show that we mm-hmm. were capable of causing and, some damage, too. And, and the guy. Yeah. <laughs> and to, to fit it all perfectly, some Pit Viper shades. <laughs> that's what that's what i'm sending i like this yeah. I like this because i i was thinking about it i was like well i feel like one thing's got to be some sort of a clothing item so it's got to be like you know some aviator glasses or you know like air jordans or something like that you I know mean, that's the epitome of american culture right now is the pit viper shades. right yeah <laughs> so i ain't mad at that that's for sure <laughs> oh shit um. Yeah, because you want it to be, you know, some real, like, like you said, if you're representing America or or not just America, but humans. Well, actually, I got to alter mine one a little bit more. It's not gonna be Keystone Lights. A thirty rack of Keystone Ice. We're gonna get these aliens <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Listen, if it's good enough for the Hulkster. So, so I'm good telling you, brother. Enough. Right. So I mean, clearly one of the things for me, it's got to be like you know a WrestleMania box set. No, uh, you know, because got to get them hooked on pro wrestling so that they're doing like backyard wrestling on whatever planet they come from. But wait, if we don't get them hooked on pro wrestling when they come off the ship, if they've never seen it before, we can just hit them with the big boot and it's over. It's true, or an RKO out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah you're right. You're right. I don't want to take. I don't want to take that strategic advantage right. away. You're, all right, some. Oh, I'll, I'll have to rethink that for sure. I mean, pit viper glasses are a given. That has to be. I feel like I want to hit him with like, you know, I, I just like a real moment in time kind of a thing. It's like, you know, you got to get him, Like you said, you hit him with that keystone or, or like a, you know, a, a big pack of like white claw or some shit like that just for, you know, cause there's no rules. There are no laws with the claws. You I mean, know? it's true. So. When you're drinking claws, there is no laws. Right. That's what it or is. Grammar, I can remember. Apparently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think your answer was pretty good. Like, I liked your food one, though, because there was like, hey, this is brisket, you know. It's, this is fantastic. You should eat all of this. Yeah, that's why be, That's why they beam up cows, make space brisket. Right. <laughs> space brisket. <laughs> Just saying. It all makes sense now. You're right. It does. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> all right, so... A copy of Space Jam because I just want to rub it in their face that we're better Wait. than them at basketball. New Space Jam, um, old Space Jam. What? 
Oh, old Space Jam. Okay. Forget. I, like, forget I think this, this weekend I'm going to check out new Space Jam just to critique the shit out of it. In fairness, I've heard it's not great, but you know, I, I, realistically, the it's got its you know. I mean, it's it, got to have listen. something going for it. I mean, yeah, Looney Tunes. You can't go wrong with the Looney Tunes. I hope not. Yeah, yeah. but this one, the soundtrack. I mean, That's not, the soundtrack is like suck. How are you going to beat that soundtrack from the first one? Yeah. Um, right. I don't know. It's it's really interesting, like trying to think of what you would send as a like, hey, this really represents us as a as a whole, right? You know, as people, because there's so much difference in them that it's like you'd hope they, you know, maybe bounce around to a few different regions to to get some different yeah, stuff. Because you know, to go I mean, pure I America. See, yeah, well, like when you said bread, you know, I could see you know, like the French being like, oh, bigot, oh, oh, you know. Oh. You get I don't know. Young, you should have a baguette. Right. Yeah. I mean, maybe I just hand him the plate with the breakfast on it and uh, just be I like, mean, yo, this the shifts right here. Yeah, full you know? farmer's breakfast? Yeah. It's pretty legit. Yeah. And if I got to give him three things, I just give him three plates of that. <laughs> <laughs> like, trust me, you ain't need nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> three plates of farmer's breakfast. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny though if you gave him like um shit like Billy Bob teeth, uh, you know, just like jank ass, you know, fake dog shit. And you know, yeah. like you're just like, I mean, we were at five like below place. today buying stuff to go to the beach because, you know, it's the best place to get stuff like that. And yeah. they have a little prank section, and one of them was the old fart whistle. <laughs> <laughs> Now, see, that's what I'm talking about. Like one of those like noisemakers that makes fart noises, burp noises, laser or whatever. Like one. You remember those executive ones that looked like they had wood crane on them, and yeah, yeah, and like, oh well, I'm clearly I'm an executive. I'm gonna make machine gun noises. Yeah, that would be hilarious because you just picture, you know, like the aliens have never seen anything like this before, and they just the fart noises, and they're like, dude, this is the greatest thing ever. Wow, these humans are. Fucking hilarious. <laughs> have you guys seen this comedy they have? This is called a whoopee cushion. Yeah, well, go just just sit on it, trust me. It just, it just kills on earth. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, shit. In your glass of what do they call it? Yeah, iced tea. There's a cube <laughs> with an earth ant. It's hilarious. <laughs> And it's so realistic. <laughs> Wait, come here, shake my hand. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just the alien stop off at the prank store. That's 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 just it. Yeah, I give him one of the things I give him is a gift card to a prank yeah, store. Exactly. One is a, a gift card to a magic store. Right. And the other one, of course, would be you know to like a liquor store or a place that only serves uh, farmers' breakfasts. Yes. So like Cracker because, Barrel. Yeah, what else do you need to serve? I mean, Cracker Barrel's perfect because they have all those weird knickknacks and shit there, too. Dude, dude you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, so there we go. There's my answer. A Magic Store gift card, a Prank Store gift card, and a Cracker Barrel store gift card. That way they could buy uh, weird uh, merchandise for their alien friends to take back. Zapnor, like, lean in, smell this flower. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got him good. <laughs> Flarnax, would you like a piece of gum? Yeah. <laughs> uh, shit. Just the the worst. Uh, and maybe, you know, if I could uh, hobby it, it would be a uh, book of dad jokes. Yes. That way, <laughs> and then later on, they come back with, like, the worst pranks dad jokes <laughs> and that's like their culture now it just has taken over yeah, just, just awful pranks <laughs> yes we represent the church of snapping gum <laughs> uh, so oh shit yeah for sure there's my answer oh. yeah i'm i'm going to just ruin their ruin them without giving them like mcdonald's or yes. something like that <clears throat> agreed all right. Well, in oh shit, my soundboard turned off. I'm bullshit too long. Uh, 
Show me how that you so, got. Yeah, so I guess, you know, what we're saying is if aliens came to Earth and you had to give them three different things to represent our culture. <laughs> a right, a left, and a... Sorry, what? <laughs> a right, a left, and a kick in the junk. Oh, <laughs> fucking three kicks to the space dick, huh? A kick to the dick and, you know, two middle yeah. fingers. Oh. <laughs> Get, Get the, the fuck, fuck off out my of planet. this planet. <laughs> a one-way ticket out of here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now you just grab them by the scruff of their space suit and you throw them back in the ship. You tell them, Get oh, out of shit. here. Go on. <laughs> Something like that. You met, they show up, they're very passive, they're, you know, very nice and all this, and the first thing they're met with is just people that are just absolute yeah, assholes like to them. Philly. You know? <laughs> yeah, there's signs everywhere, go back to your planet, you know. Oh, man. Uh, Sounds about right. All right. Yeah, yes. basically. Because that's what yes, we do here. Right. Yeah. That actually probably would be a decent representation. Like, you're not like us. We hate you. I so, mean, you know. yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Aliens are quick to run back onto their spacecraft and, you know, zip yeah, out of here. I said earlier, glass the planet. Yeah. They're like, hey, somebody call Galactus. Yeah, like, well, there's really <laughs> no redeeming value, so let's just wipe it out. Yeah. Like, oh, you're a herald of Galactus. Allow us to bestow upon you three gifts. Frankincense, myrrh, <laughs> and gold. The power of being future Galactus plaque. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Uh, meanwhile, Galactus just turns the planet into space brisket. Mm. <laughs> Man, space brisket. You gotta let that shit low and slow, kind of far out from yep. orbit from the sun. You know, you don't want to get it too close. Yeah. No, no, no. You don't want yeah, it don't to, want char to char or anything. You, don't, you want you still want crust, to get that bark. but you don't. Yeah, yeah. 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 That but, space yeah. bark. That'd be fun. He just he just moves the planet to a certain location, and that essentially is you know his way of cooking the planet before He's he just eats him it. Hanging out in a lawn chair, drinking beer all day, waiting for the planet to yeah. smoke. Right. <laughs> like, man, I can't, this yeah, smells amazing. Yeah. I can't wait. This. It's like a dry rub. I, I rained down upon them right beforehand. Yeah. Delicious. Like, Surfer, bring me some more of them white cloths. <laughs> <laughs> like, you realize this isn't what a herald is supposed yeah. to be for? Check your face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I made you. I could take you uh, away. Right? That's right. That's right. Galactus just has his own line of energy drinks called Power Cosmic. I mean, I'm not mad at that idea. Then, of course, there's, you know, Hard Power Cosmic, which is, you know, the alcohol version. Yeah, I mean, Marvel could honestly probably make Power Cosmic energy drinks. People would be all over that shit. Yeah. yeah. Probably Super Soldier yeah, Serum. For sure, right? Yeah. It's just cocaine in a I can. Mean, basically you know? energy drinks anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's be real. As they should be. As they should be, you know? How else am I supposed to get crazy feeling? Yeah. yeah. Duh. Yeah, makes sense. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Well, head on over to saltylanguage.com and uh, check out all the past episodes, the enthusiast episodes we've done. You can find a link there for the network we're part of. Yes. Tangent Bound. Network. Mm. It's going to be found at tangentboundnetwork.com. Go check out the other shows over there. And of course, you know, send Mark all the sensual oh, messages. So sensual. Hugs and yep. stuff. Yes. Right. Tell them they're all from me. Yeah. You know, make him the star of your uh, erotic fan fiction. <laughs> yes. Yeah, whatever. Exactly. Which I can only assume he's got. A plan for a line of that coming out. I mean, out he at some seems to be doing too. everything else. Why not? If I mean, we totally right. should. 
you know, that's that's what we need is the salty language line sensual of sensual books. Sensual books. How yeah. about we just call them salty language jack mags? <laughs> <laughs> That's so much better than my idea of sensual scripture. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> salty language, Jack yeah. Mag. <laughs> I think it's great. Uh, there's just pictures of uh, uh, John Ritter falling over things from Three's Company. Yes. That's all the book is, or just various Jacks. You know, <sighs> love it. Uh. <laughs> Damn Jackman. Yeesh. Right. All right. Well, if you want to contact us on the socials, you can find this show at uh, salty underscore language on Twitter. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Stunami. You can find me on the Instagrams at uh, the monotony and salty language can be found everywhere. Really go to salty language.com. All the links are there for the socials. Uh, Salty Language Pod, if you want to start watching the show. So not live, but, you know, all the stuff we talk about, I try to pull up as, as we're talking. You know what we need? We need a producer. Yeah, who I wants know. To work for free? That's what I've... Yeah, right? Pull up shiz we're talking about. Yeah. Be so I much know, easier right? that way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, but yeah, it's uh, yeah, that's that's what I got. Saltylunch.com, Saltylunch Pod on the YouTubes. All right, beautiful. All right, well, there you go. I guess uh, so. Until next week, have a thirty pack of Keystone. You'll be fine. <laughs> what happened to the guy? With I mean, the he ADV? was fine. I mean, yeah. he was fine. Uh, st- Proof. Stay salty, everybody. And um, uh, remember, go low and slow with your space brisket. I guess I don't. I don't really have much this week. It's kind of a, a limp to the end. We're just thumbing the ending in. <laughs> <laughs> back to pushing rope, Brian. Yeah, it always comes back around. Always to push comes and rope. back around. <laughs> <laughs>